Hello. Happy Dun Meshi Thursday. Hi. I gotta go. I gotta go watch Dungeon Meshi. Hi. Hello. Let's get into this video game here. I just started. I haven't seen any of the video game. Let's start it. No. Uh, uh, I have uh, um, a hard out. So unlike all the other streams of this game that have been like a thousand hours, this one's probably gonna be like five-ish hours stream. So... Uh, anyway, <laughs> so I want to try to get into it so we can uh, uh, hopefully run through the gold saucer today a second time and bro down with our boy Nanaki. So, uh, yeah, let me try to keep the prambling to a minimum as opposed to a soft out, you know, which is like, you know, I can just stream for eight hours. It's fun. Um, so I'm going to get into it, but I hope all everyone's doing well real quick. Um, so uh, yesterday um, I... Uh, uh, I had to edit out, because last stream, I was listening to the El Paso Elsewhere soundtrack, which is really good. Uh, but apparently the official playlist includes a song that is not by the composer of the game, which I, I guess that's a reminder I need to finish that game. I did play more of it off of stream, but I haven't finished it yet. So uh, I guess I need to do that, because I'm assuming it's a song that's used in the game, maybe near the end or in the credits. But regardless, I had to edit that out of the VOD, and what with it being an eight-hour VOD. The edit took, like, ten minutes, but... Um, it took a while to uh, render and upload, so yeah, it got, I mean, all of these VODs have been getting claims, but they've been getting claims from Square Enix and, and Nobu Omatsu, which I'm like, this is fair use, hopefully I can get that clarified, uh, but regardless, it's been a couple covers, like for example, like any time, basically any time, I think I've done twice in this playthrough where I've done the piano minigame, and both times have gotten claimed as piano covers of those songs, which is kind of hilarious. Uh, if it wasn't so aggravating, but, uh, regardless, uh, but that was a claim where it's like, I just kind of want to cut that out and avoid it, because everything else is, like, in the game gameplay, can't really be avoided, otherwise I would just wouldn't be playing this game, so, I cut that out, and it just took a long time to render and a long time to upload, because it's a big old beefy bot VOD, so that meant that I actually, for the first time, like, since this game started, uh, I had time to play this video game, so I actually did some stuff in the game yesterday, um, I got some stuff done. I didn't do anything that I... Well, uh, let me clarify. There there were two little things that I captured videos of because I was like, oh, I think chat might want to see this. So I'll show that real quick before we start. But I'll tell you ahead of time in case anyone's like, I'm dipping because spoilers or whatever. Um, yeah, I beat the whole game. It's all done. Uh, but what I did do was, uh, A, I got all the summons. So I looked up, uh, 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 I looked up online where the divine shrines I was missing were to get them all to like maximum easiness, which still wasn't easy. They're not easy fights. I, 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 I'm glad I didn't do it on stream because the last couple, holy shit. Uh, I, I think the final Odin fight was like over an hour by itself. It was bad. It was bad. I looked up a guide because I was like, I, what am I doing wrong? I, I'll get to it in a second, but. I looked up all the things to make them easy, and then I, I got them all. So I have them all now, um, and uh, uh, I will show you a brief thing from... I can just show it. Well, whatever. I'll do it in a second. Um, but yeah, uh, the I thought that the Bahamut Arisen fight was going to be the toughest one, and then I was like, wait, there's one more. Um, and the way that Odin works is if you, if you assess him, it tells you that um, Odin has an invisible meter, which is how bored he is. And if he's hitting you, he's bored. So if he hits you too many times, he plays his horn, which is the sign that he's getting bored. If he gets too bored after that point, he does his Zenkitatsu or whatever it's called, and he just one-shot kills everyone. And I tried equipping everyone with accessories, because there's like revival earrings that like, you know, well, revival earrings do work, but there's also like, um, abilities that prevent, like, instant death. It doesn't count as instant death. I think it's just an absurd amount of damage. Um, uh, Zen Zentatsuken. That's the one. Zen Zentatsu is probably a food. Um, so the, the goal is to block or, uh, like, perfect block. Because if you block, you still take damage. Perfect block, so you take no damage. Or dodge or just landing ATB abilities on him. However, most of the time I hit him with an ATB ability, he parried it and did damage with like a reprisal move, where I was like, what the fuck? Um, so I was having a rough time and I was like trying to get better. Hi, Viz. Oh, hi. So I was having a rough time with that, as you might expect, and I was equ I equipped 
the um, precision materia, so like it, may, it ex expands the window of um, of timing. It, it kind of turned into like a Dark Souls fight, where it's like, I just can't get hit, because it's devastating if you get it, and I'm trying to like perfect block all this shit. But the problem is like, a lot of his animations were like, some of them were really obvious, like he would wind up and then throw a spear, and that one wasn't too bad, I was getting that most times, but then he would like charge at you, and then like spin and hit you with stuff, like some of the animations were like harder to kind of gauge the window for. So it was tough. Um, and then I looked up online, I was like, well, what strategies are there out there that I'm missing? Um, and uh, there is a strategy for anyone out there that's maybe gonna try that or is struggling with it, uh, which is Cloud has his two forms in his, in his sword combat. He has like the operator mode and then the punisher mode. And I mostly have been using operator mode because it's faster and whatever, and, and punisher, I'm like, yeah, it's kind of neat. One of the mechanics of Punisher mode that I basically haven't used, like, the entire game, is that if you're blocking in Punisher mode, then you counter everything that you hit, as long as it's not gonna, like, send you flying. If you counter... If you counter Odin's hits... <laughs> He's waving goodbye. That's so sad. Um, if you counter his hits with Punisher, you take damage, but it doesn't add to his boredom meter. So it's just kind of... Yes, you have to switch into the Punisher mode and then block. Also, if you tap Punisher at the right time, then you get like a perfect block. Um, so it's not really a get out of jail free card, but uh, it, it kind of is and that you can just sort of switch that mode and block and then your timing doesn't have to be perfect. You'll just, he just doesn't get more upset. Granted, if he, if he gets bored and attacks one of your other party members, that counts for his meter. So you have to kind of keep his aggro on you while also switching to that mode. It's not an easy fight even with that, but it's like, it goes from, you need perfect execution, to now you have wiggle room. One of the strategies was like, you can use Red 13 and go into his Sentinel stance mode, which is similar, but that consumes ATB, so you have to build that up over time, whereas Cloud can switch that for free. Um, so yeah, that, that's, there's that. Um, and then halfway through the fight, he splits the arena in half. Just like that, thank you for the resubs. Um, he splits the arena in half, which, which is, pro unless all of your guys are gathered together, that's gonna separate you. And so, I was doing pretty good with Cloud on my first attempt after looking up the strategy. And then he had, I had Barrett and Red 13 in my party. And then Barrett and Red 13 were one half, and Cloud was on the other, and Odin was on the other half. So I had to switch over to like Barrett and Red, I was like, oh god, oh god, oh god, my, my strategy. And then he like got pissed off and zen the de tatsuken, and then I died, and then I had to try again. But, I was able to do it like, third try after learning that strategy, and I equipped everyone with revival earrings, and then I didn't end up using them. The time that I that I won, actually, no one died. Um, he didn't get to, to his Zen to Tatsuken. But yeah, it was a wild fight because every other fight is like, you can, you know, try some Materia strategies. Like, the Bahamut fight is, is pretty nuts. He, Bahamut's whole shtick is that he's... I'll make it very brief because I want to get going. Um, he, like, puts these particles all over the map, and if you touch them, it's like a ticking time bomb. Kind of reminds me of the slime that... Um, oh, what's his face from Monster Hunter... Was it four ult or three ultimate? I, I just want to say Bahamut. The the big guy with the, the, the goopy green hands and he stomps around, they blow up. Someone's going to know what I'm talking about. Uh, but anyway, it like sticks onto you and then it blows up after a while. But you can... Bracadios. Thank you. It's just like, it starts with a B. Um, Bracadios. Yeah, the good old Bracky. So he like, he hits you with like an explosive, spli a spli uh, explosive slime that blows up after a certain period of time. So it's kind of like that. The way you can dispel it and pressure him is by doing synergy attacks. Or just doing any kind of a synergy ability. Not the blocking ones, the like, ATB build-up ones. So, you're incentivized to... So it's like, okay, I'm, I'm taking out uh, heal all, I'm now putting haste all onto Cloud, and I'm hasting the fuck out of everyone and just trying to build up as many ATBs, and I'm using ATB not so much to do damage, but just to have synergies ready for when he does this. It's just like... Changes the way the game works in a very interesting way. So I was like, it was neat. Uh, didn't mean to hit that. Um, so anyway, all that to say, I did, I did, I did do them, and I did them all in the normal difficulty. I saw a lot of people were like, I went to fight Odin, and I switched to easy, and I was still having a terrible time. Like it's, it's a very tough fight. Um, and it, maybe it could have been fun to stream, but I would have just been tilting. Because when I'm not streaming, I'm like, okay, let me just like try it again. But on stream, it's like I want to get it done so we can move on, and I just get more and more tilted. So. I'm glad I did it off stream, but uh, it, it went. It went. Um, back when they didn't make Monster Hunter for humans. Mm hmm. I have a <laughs> Thank you, Fizz. Um, but anyway, uh, the blocking ones worked too, didn't they? 
they did an easy i mean it, it, I, I, from what i understand easy doesn't make the game easier it just makes it easier to like build up uh stagger meter and stuff and maybe makes you take slightly less damage but that doesn't matter for odin's fight he's gonna one shot you if he gets too bored so uh yeah anyway um so we, was, we were gaming uh and 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 then uh, so i did all the summons i also did all the moogles because I was like, I might as well, while I'm running through the world, look up where the Moogle houses I was missing were. I'm very glad I did that off stream because the gathering up all the Moogles into the tree in the middle sucks. It gets more and more annoying as you get further into it because you have a time limit and they're spread out and it just, they're throwing shit at you. I did record, there's a little cutscene at the end and I recorded that, so we'll watch that in a moment before I start the stream. For anyone that's seen that cutscene, don't say anything, but uh, it's just like a fun little thing. All the Miguel's. Uh, so I did that. I did all of the Chadley tutorial VR missions because the Kate Sith one was actually very useful. Thank you for that. Um, the Kate Sith one was actually very useful. I actually learned a handful of things about the characters from doing this tutorial, so probably should have done that way earlier. But the problem was I was going into it with my now later in the game gear. So the way the tutorials work is like, they'll be like, oh, you know, here's your standard attack. And then you can press triangle to do this unique thing. And then after you do enough damage, then it's like, here's the second part of the tutorial. But I was killing the enemies before the later part of the tutorial could pop up. So I was like, oh, I, I should, I should like, just like try to chip away and run around. Or like, it would wait until you filled up an ATB meter to say, here's what your ATB abilities are uh, by default. Here's what like this does for Tifa. And I was like, okay, great. But I was, I was murdering them too fast. So it was interesting, but. We're doing the Moogles to yes. Yeah, but I'm again, I'm like, I'm glad I did it. I'm glad I didn't do it on stream. Anyway, let me get uh, caught up so we can get back into the game. I'll show those little videos real quick. And then we're gonna uh, run to the Golden Saucer. Um, Happy Capster, thanks for the raid. And thank you for some beans. We're just getting started here. Hello. Um, oh, I did want to share this real quick. That I did, um, I mentioned I was I, I did all the 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 the, the summons and I, I looked up where some of the divine because I was like I don't want to run through the open world for 20 hours um, uh, and I, I yes you can activate the towers to find them so I did activate some towers and I did activate some chocobo bus stop things and I wanted to assure all of you that I did pet every single baby chocobo for the like five or so chocobo stands that I opened up the bus stops so uh uh, but I was looking up where they are, and I was I was just googling like FF7 rebirth uh, summon locations and stuff like that. And I just I found this guide that was probably the most useful thing that I found in my searches. Um, and I just wanted to shout out this one in particular for just being really useful. It helped me learn where I needed to go. Phoenix abilities. Ugh. So, shoutouts to the- I'm not even gonna say what website it was, because this sucks. <laughs> this is like, like, just like, ah, well, you know, fill it in later, it's fine. Anyway. Yeah, I'm always good to the Chocobos, because they're good to me. Um, yeah, g get the- g just like, looking up on a map for Gungaga, and it was like, okay, here's where, uh, these are. G getting anywhere in Gungaga, like, Gunga uh, more than any other area in the game, Gungaga is the one that's like, you can't really go, I want to go east. You just kind of have to explore, which is neat, except when I'm like, I want to try to get over here, because everything in Gungaga is just like, you want to get there? We have to go this way, and then climb a mountain, and then hop on a mushroom, and that'll land you on a little plateau. Don't drop off, but then you got to hop on this other mushroom. It just was like, it's neat, but I'm like, I'm trying to just get this one thing and get out of here. It's all spaghetti maze. It really is. Um, but in between streams, there were some subs and resubs from Sacho7141, Xanarkans, Toby Tries, Multiple Mics, Sen2D, Dashira, Draco, Arcanus, who was, did that while I was getting stuff and said, Bar Ahoy, Bar Hyuk, Bar Ahoy. I thank you. Um, Xanry, thanks for 58 months. Bar Sip. Gamer Dylan, thanks for 100 bits. Kale the Dragon, thanks for 61 months. Thanks for the Prime. Wist of Volpine, thanks for 31. Stream of my birthday. Happy birthday. I hope you're having a good birthday. It's Thursday, which means you get a whole birthday weekend. Thursday is the delineator. Wednesday birthday? That sucks. You just have Wednesday. Thursday, that rolls into Friday and then the weekend. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, I really enjoy these streams as my sort of first frame to FF7 proper. Here's birthday pie for everyone. Fuck yeah, birthday pie is better than birthday cake. Thank you, Wistful Volpine. I hope you're enjoying. Um, I do recommend checking out the original FF7. Uh, if the... Uh, if it if the uh, feeling strikes you, it is very different from this. 
the plot beats are like kind of the same. Obviously, it's different, but in terms of the actual experience of going through the game, it's it's a good time. I do recommend it. As someone who has a vicious poo brain on and off stream, it's just exacerbated by stream, um, and uh, doesn't really click with a lot of RPG systems and systems on systems, I found FF7 to be a very good time. It's not, it's not full-blown sphere grid. It's not, you don't have any options and no strategy. It's like a good kind of, and it's, it's good. It's a neat game. I don't want to overhype it. Because a lot of people are like, FF7's the best RPG, or, or a lot of people hold in high esteem. And then there's kind of like RPG gatekeepers who are like, hey, you think FF7's good? You haven't seen anything, like whatever. It's, I think it holds up really well. Uh, just go into it expecting some really crunchy, silly polygon guys. And uh, it's a fun time. FF6 is better. There you go. Happy Ides of March Eve. Oh, it is Pi Day. That's right. How far in a pie can I count? 3.14159265387. Something like that. I think it's. it's I, don't, I don't know. And those last couple are Mythion. Three. <laughs> Pi is like, eh, three ish. Yeah, you know. Uh, Winter Rose, thanks for 75 months. That's so many. I've been here a very long time. That's a lot. Legit impressive now, Link Materia is meaningful. Linked Materia is is the system that makes... Linked Materia takes Materia as a system from, oh, that's neat, to, oh, shit, that's cool. Because if it was just Materia slots, and you just slot a thing and be like, boom, there's a spell, boom, there's an ability, that's still neat. It gives you a lot of opportunities to flex, uh, uh, express yourself and make characters flexible and push them in different directions. The Linked Materia adds a huge layer of strategy onto, I have this many Materia, I have an Elemental Materia, and I want to put it on this guy so he's doing this elemental attack and it's neat. It's good stuff. Way too many thoughts in there. Be careful. I did physics for years and I remember on average one to three digits of pi. 3.1? 3.1. Um... Alpha Dalilas, thanks for 38 months and thanks for the prime. Had a moment on my way home. FF7 is the brand new big game I'm into and NSYNC was on the radio. What year is this? Everything old is new again. Alpha Dalilas, thank you for the 100 bits as well. Happy Capster, thanks again for the raid. Uh, Steelmeister, thanks for 28 months. Thank you for the prime. And Pomum for the prime for six. Enjoy your golden key. Thank you for the primes. Did you know that if you prime, it don't? Did you know that uh, pi is a prime number? Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Smash my thanks for bits. Yeah, pi is a good number. It's neat. You can use that with a circle. Pair HP absorb with enemy skill. Use discharge on every time you feel like to be explodes a burst of electricity from you that will also heal you. Yeah, I only la I, I was doing stuff off stream and I got I finally got the enemy skill materia, which I think was from it was I think it was from buying it from Chadley. I think I needed research points in a region to buy it. And I saw it at the time I was like, that's neat, but like I didn't really mess with enemy skill too much in the original. The guys I was using to help me get through the original were like, if you're going for enemy skill, make sure you do this and this and this. Go back to this area and talk to this guy. You want to fight this enemy. Don't do this side quest until you have this enemy skill material. So then you have all four or five that are in the game and you max them all out. I was like, That's, I'm just going to blast them with Comet and have a fun time. Um, hit him with Knights of the Round. That'll, that'll do it. Um... But now I kind of wish that I bought it earlier, if only because the way enemy skill material works in the original game is that someone needs enemy skill material equipped, and then an enemy needs to hit them with an ability that can be registered by enemy skill material. So for some bosses, you have to like goad it out of them. Not only for them to use an ability that they only do when they're low HP, but for it to hit the right person. There's like a weird la layer of strategy to how it works. In this game, it's different. In this game, you first have to get the enemy skill material, so I wish I got it way earlier. Then, you assess an enemy that has a move that can be learned by enemy skill material. There's only a certain number of moves, and they're, they're set in stone. It's not just, like, random. Um, so you have to assess that enemy. When you do that, it adds a VR training mission to Chadley. And then when you do that VR training mission, you unlock it on the materia. So this entire time, I've probably been assessing enemies that have things I could learn if I wanted, but it doesn't retroactively count. At least, maybe I've missed every single one in the game. But uh, I, don't, I don't think I unlocked any by buying the enemy skill material. Maybe I missed the menu, so it, it, it could be I just missed it. But I was like, oh, it starts with one skill on it. But yeah, I feel like I I may I didn't I didn't goof it. I'm still fine. But it's like yeah, that could have been a fun thing to play with. Anyway, thank you. What the hell? What the heck? Block line a certain number of unique enemies per. Is that what that screen is? Because one of the Chadley tabs for the the missions is like yeah, you do. 
There, there's uh, doing the enemy intel, which is like fight these dudes with these optional objectives, and those unlock things. And then there's also the, um, like you were saying, do a, 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 assessing or fighting a certain number of enemies. Maybe it's that. Maybe it's that. Maybe I misunderstood, and it's not assessing that specific enemy. It's assessing enemies in a region unlocks it. Regardless, I don't have any, so it's fine. Uh, thank you, Smashman, for gifting us up to Mechanized Gentleman. Five Leisure, thanks for 50 bucks. Been loving your Rebirth streams. Hoping you go back to do side content on your own time since most of it is super fun by getting online to do it all on stream. Hope you enjoy the rest of the game. Thank you. Speaking of which, we got to get back to it. Go Fableman, thanks for 52 months. May have missed a few. Oops, no time to watch live, but thankfully VOD lands exist. Love y'all. Thank you, Blue Fableman. Hope you enjoy the VODs. Thank you. Um... Okay, 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 all right, all right. I was like, let's make it brief, and then I blink, and it's the same amount of time as it always is. I don't even know how my brain works. Uh, real quick, I'm gonna show the, the two quick little videos that I captured from doing stuff off stream. Uh, first of all, this just came from um, uh, uh, running around, and uh, I think I was getting, uh, I was getting the, the last divine intel for Alexander. So it, there, there are these glowing little uh, giblets, and when you hit them, a little thing leads you to where the divine intel is. Uh, I've been avoiding a lot of them because it's like either I don't care or I already can see where to go. But when you hit them, sometimes Chadley chimes in and is like, oh, I'm going to talk about this materia. And if you are doing the Alexander stuff, he's like, oh, Alexander was this robot that uh, uh, the like local villagers uh, looked up to as a source of divine judgment. And he would come down when people were bad and like render his judgment against them. And then this fucking conversation happened. I was like, what? Maybe, maybe I don't hate Chadley? Or I feel differently? I turn it up. You know, Cloud, just between you and me, I really, really like Alexander. I mean, who wouldn't? A giant robot. I sometimes contemplate doing something wicked in the hopes I might get to see him up close. Suffice it to say, I await your next exciting discovery with bated breath. I was like, what did he just say? <laughs> Hold on. He's like, maybe I might do a Wicked so that I might meet Alex. I was like, oh, that's like the first time all game. I've been like, oh, Chadley, that's endearing. <laughs> it's good. Anyway, this is then uh, what happens when you finish the getting all of the Moogles and then finalizing getting the full Moogle store. So uh, I'm just going to shut up and let this play. It's a longer video. It's three minutes, but it's fun. I got all the Moogles with a minute 15 to go. True hero! Every single Emporium is once again open for business, Koopo! It was Mog and Mag's hope that these special shops would bring happiness to folks all throughout the world, Koopo! And that dream lived on, passed down to their children, and their children's children, and so on, for countless generations. That's the minigame from the original. Which is upsetting to think about. One day, these Mooglets will inherit that legacy. Like those before them. Oh, before I forget, I have a super duper amazing present for you to thank you for all your help. You're gonna love it. Koopo? Koopo! Koopo. Go on now, be good hosts, and show our guest how it's done. Koopo. Koopo po.
This is the happiest so Cloud has ever been. <laughs> Not bad. Kupo. And you get a stuff from Google for doing that. And I was just like, Now what? that we've been reunited, the Mooglets and I will continue our efforts to spread joy all over the world. Also, Make we Koopa found noises. a bunch of rare and exotic items you won't so, want to um, miss out on. Come see for yourself, Koopo. <laughs> you'll see that uh, most of what you get from doing these are uh, like SP for the folios. So I have a million points to spend. Interesting. Catch your eye, Koopo. But um, they also added something to the store I didn't buy. So this was new. Increases enemies drop rate. There's something called the vibro detector and I'm like, I'm not buying that. That scares me. I don't know what that's about So thanks Feel free to drop by any time. So anyway, that's that um, I Just needed to share that with you all and then uh, when I got home last night. Oh, Jax When I got home last night, I wanted to share that cutscene with bath I was like bath bath would enjoy this and someone uploaded on the YouTube like 11 days ago and i was like excuse excuse me this this game has been like a full-time job for me and i've been avoiding all the optional stuff just to try to get through the game someone got this far <laughs> like like a couple days after the game came out excuse me like how the how in the hell did someone play enough to have done all there's so there's like seven of these and you have to get all the way to nebel region in order to get the last one. i'm like that's so much anyway I actually don't remember the channel I looked up. It was just like Moogle, Moogle Emporium cutscene. Jax! Gamers, are I'm not fast. That's the whole point. Jax, that's it. He's so ready for his night out. I'm excited. We got to go back to the Gold Saucer. We got, uh, we got red, ready to go. Um, it's funny too, because as I was doing all the summon battles, I was mixing up my party and trying different groups. And I was using Aerith for some of them. Cause I was like, she just has crazy damage output with magic. Um, and with some of her wards she can put down, uh, it just means she's, like, invincible while, while attacking or can fire two spells for one ATB and stuff. Um, and I did, I think, a synergy ability with her or something, and it was like, your relationship with Aerith has deepened. And I was like, oh, no! And I got back out, and she's one pip below full. So I have several party members that are blue, but red is the only one that's, like, the full bright blue glowing. So I think we're still good for our, 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 our bro, bro date. Our bro night with red um because that is the plan so i'm gonna get back into the game um can't recommend doing queen's blood enough mini game aside the quest line goes crazy places i don't doubt it i probably not gonna get to that on stream but i appreciate you letting me know um i mean i legit had a lot of fun yesterday just kind of running around on my own and doing some side uh not really a lot of side stuff but just like open world stuff i didn't do any side quests or anything um but yeah we uh hello um, yeah, so I did, I did stuff. I did stuff, I did things. So now we have to work with, uh, all these other lads. We got Phoenix, so I got Titan up to level four. So he's got his, his ultimate ability, Boulder Hurl. Uh, Phoenix, Alexander, Kujata, Bahamut Arisen, and Odin got them all. So, I mean, all, I, maybe there's more. This is all that I saw. Um... And I thought it was safe to look up because I'm assuming Nebel is the last major open world region. I know there's still areas we haven't gotten to, but with with the idea of I guess we're doing Rocket Town in the next game, I guess we're uh, we're in the clear for now. In terms of I don't have to be worried about spoilers. Maybe that was a bad move, but I didn't see any spoilers at least. So one more cloud stride for the road. Absolutely, absolutely can do. Pardon me. Bum, 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 bum. Wait. I missed the million other versions of Bahamut from the OG. Yeah, there were like three Bahamuts. There's like Bahamut, Bahamut, Neo, and then like Bahamut, Neo, Ultra, XD, Lomao. Which the... I should look up the... I should show you all the cutscene. Um, yes. Yes. That's all I wanted. Um, I should, the, the, it is worth looking up, because first of all, there's like 50,000 summons in the original FF7, 
There's so many. In this game has a lot of summons. The original has like 30, it seems like. Um, and all of their cutscenes go hard. And I really recommend looking up the ba the Bahamut cutscene from the original. And just remember, this was on the PlayStation 1. And this was Square's first time doing 3D. Some of those summons, you'd be like, what the f They did this in what year? Bahamut flies into space and blows up a planet. It's absurd. And it happens every time you're like, hey, can you come in? Because this game goes, oh, in certain fights, a meter fills up. And once it fills up, you can then summon. The original's just like, hey, you got an ATB? Fire out a summon. What do you got? Go nuts. Bahamut zero with Terra Flare. It's absurd. So, yeah, Bahamut Arisen fight in this uh, does blast you with uh, Giga Flare. And that was one shotting me pretty good. So that was mean. There's big spell, very big spells. And if you summon Knights of the Round, you go make a sandwich and come back later. Um, so I did want to, what? Whoa, whoa, what was? Oh, it's the plant. I was like, what the hell was happening over there? Um, so I mentioned that from doing the Moogle stuff off stream, I did obtain a, approximately 50,000 weapon SP points. And uh, I didn't spend them, which probably would have made the summon fights a little bit easier. And maybe I'm a fool for waiting until now to do it, but I wanted to do it before I forget again. Chomog was the only way to win your weapon. Yeah, I think hey, so. Looking to fiddle with some folios? Remember that, keeping that on some guys. Yeah, we got, I got a couple points to spend, so I'm going to spend them. Um, I still don't have level 8. Party level 8 lets you get some of this stuff, but... Um, might as well get all the abilities. Just a couple points. Just a few. It is satisfying to just kind of spend a bunch all at once. But anyway, we're going to go back to the gold saucer. If you don't remember why, um, I can tell you when I have some brain. Yeah, sure. When I have some brain, which currently I don't. Uh, thank you, Moonwing. Oh, I'm back. Uh, Barret. Use overcharge reload when staggering. Arcane Blast. Also, I did have a party of Barrett and, and Tifa against one of the summons, and their 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 summon or their synergy. Which one is it? Maybe it's on Aerith. Whatever. It's very good. Uh, plus regen upon entering battle? How did I miss that sounds rad? Uh I'm hoping that you can get enough points to just fully max out everything on here by the end of the game, or just post-game. Max MP. HP cover by Timber Summer Studio. Year. The salvo. It was over here. There it is. Sweet and sour salvo. So good. They put on sunglasses and they just start blasting. Uh, red. <clears throat> Ringmaster. Era takes control of red, unleashing a ranged attack across a wide area. What? She takes. Con what is she doing to him? What is what what is she doing to him? She's like lifting up in the air and he's like scampering. That doesn't seem like he's enjoying that. Hmm. Lots of books in the battle square. Oh God. Yeah, I haven't even really messed with any of the... I spent a lot of time in the gold sauce in the original doing like battle square stuff and trying to cheese it by save stating and being like, this sucks, go again. Actually, I don't think I'd use save states. I don't think that was an option. I think I just quit and reloaded. I don't remember. Max HP for red? Yeah, make him beef. You want to have your whole team combat ready soon-ish. I had a feeling that might be the case. That they might be like, all right, grab this guy. Now grab this guy without a chance to change up people's materia. Because we are heading into the end of the game. Someone said while I was getting set up that I could possibly finish the game today. That's not happening. As I said earlier, I have a hard out later. Which is why I need to maybe play the video game now that I've been live for almost an hour. Uh, we're going to get going real soon. Um, I'm fairly confident that we'll get through the gold saucer stuff. I just probably won't do anything beyond that today. But we might finish the game tomorrow. And if not tomorrow, then it sounds like Sunday's a lock-in. I sometimes play games. Win for free. Or what is this? Freeze damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, do, do. Wait, I still have 25 points. Um, wait, what is what is this one? Which win for free? I'm shying away from those a little bit. They're not bad. I just, you know, more mimpy, more mimpy. 
And don't have any of these. That's fine. These are probably really good, though. Uh, Yuffie. Synergies. Dev should try the rest of the game once today. No, I think, uh... I, th I've, I've kind of gotten into a... Hmm... That does unlock a lot of good stuff. Increase damage, max MP. That seems good. Can't get it yet. Um. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. The hell was I saying? Uh. Played some clocked in about 93 hours. Yeah, I'm like 60, 70 hours are in or something like that. Uh. Ooh. That sounds good. Um. But yes, uh. Time's been pretty good. Yeah, I've been I've been kind of doing about one chapter per stream for the last number of streams. Increases luck by hundred while riding Moogle. Uh, damage dealt by Moogle. Yes, the Moogle's really strong, is what I've learned. You can just run into a guy who holds square, and it kills a lot of dudes. Um, yes. So, if we have, I forget how many chapters are in the game total, but we are on chapter something, and. It sounds like we're doing Gold Saucer, and then the Temple, and then the City, would be my guess. Which sounds like three chapters left, including this one. Hi, Todd. We love to hold Square accountable for their corporate behavior. Good luck with that, Todd. They made him a viable character. They made everyone viable. Uh, increase the duration of viable strength. Yeah, focus. That was like 60 hours when I saved after the credits. Damn. Nice. Your MP regeneracy. Weapon ability damage. Tifa become Bifa. I might take a quick moment, too, to just kind of try to equip materia to everybody. I do have a lot more materia than I did last stream just from doing some Chadley stuff. Just doing the tutorials gives you just, like, a bunch of elemental stuff. So nothing amazing. Uh, I do have a bunch more stuff. But, yeah, I'm going to, I think, equip this party. But well, maybe they're already good. Um... Yeah, these guys are good, but maybe... Yeah, maybe Aerith should have some stuff. Uh, who has all of my elemental magic? Red has it. Give those... to Aerith. And... maybe magic efficiency. I just want to make sure I have a good amount of healing spread out between a bunch of people. Um, She's got steel HP up, berry poison, lightning... Uh, you can have a heal. Kate Sith's got luck up. I think I gave him two luck ups. I gave him, a, I gave him three luck up materials. I was like, I want you to have a lot of luck. This robot cat can be filled with so much luck. I gave him enemy skill, which is almost leveled up, even though I don't think I've used its skill once. Uh, Antifa's got fortification warding. I don't know if that's going to do much for me. Uh, HP stagger, chakra, HP up, fire, item master. Um... Level boost, magnify, warding, autocast, magic focus. Increases potency and duration of spells with the linked materia. Give that to Aerith. Um, with, I don't know, fire and ice. That sounds neat. Magic efficiency, though. Uh, shit. Okay, that goes back to Barrett. Um, and, yeah, what else I got? I have another assess. Oh, I should give another assess. To somebody. Who... Yuffie. Yuffie gets it. Because Yuffie's got range. I like giving it to someone who's quick and has range. To be able to build up ATB early on. It's Connect 4. It is. How's it going here? We all gonna get out? I am never gonna get out. We are about to... Once I'm done staring at this screen for the next hour... Um, we're about to head back to the Gold Saucer. Because... We're trying to obtain the black materia, which the Gi want so they can no longer exist, and Sephiroth wants presumably because it can blow people up. We're trying to get it first, and we were told that the Cetra stole it from the Gi and put it in a temple, but we need some kind of a key to get into the temple, and our lead is at the Gold Saucer in order to learn where that key went. So we gotta go back there and, and go look at Mr. Mr. Midi himself, Dio. Um, let me give that to Yuffie. Does that make sense? I don't know. Oh, uh, what is it? Cleansing. Um, does she have poison and petrify? I did get that too. Um, give her everything. Empowerment? Why not? Gate Sith, what do you want? 
You want ice? Got it. You want, um... Yeah. A level boost of what? More luck? Honestly, the more luck, the mirror luck. That sounds like a Pokemon. Uh, mirror luck. I got morph. Who wants morph? That seems like a Kate Sith thing. Works for me. Uh, Tifa. Another HP up. Who doesn't have an HP up? I call people. Aerith should have one. A thousand percent. She's so squishy. There you go. Um, and, uh, Steadfast Block. A good one. Maybe Tifa. She doesn't have one already. She doesn't. Those are nice. And, can you help? I'll hit the, uh, I'll hit the Stunley Fun Alert. I'll help you ice the Black Materia, Todd. Thank you, Todd. Uh... That looks good. Do I need to give someone else mug? You know what? Tifa can have a mug. She can she can give him the mug. Um Auto cast warding. Do I have just a free slot to ward something? Maybe. Um Can I ward empowerment? No, those aren't linked slots, so sure. What about over here? Um, uh, what do you want to ward? Can you ward fire? I don't think you can ward fire. Yeah. Bleh. Ward binding? Sure. Okay. Mug root beer. Mmm. Root beer. Um, so who all has heal right now? I just want to double check. I do still have haste all on cloud as opposed to heal all. Because I, I, I came to the realization in fighting summons, it's really nice to just build ATV fast. So I might leave I might switch that off, but I'm gonna leave that on for now. Still have AP up on Comet, which is such a long way to go that I probably won't level up by the end of the game, but that's fine. I also got some ATV boosts that I still haven't used. I had them on for the summons and I keep forgetting this is a thing. Um but I'll try to remember. Yell at me to use ATB boost if you want. So Cloud has a heal. Um I also got a gravity, which I haven't used yet. Uh, yeah, he has a full heal as well. Red has my revival, which I've level boosted to Arise. But I don't know if he's the smart... He probably isn't the smartest person to have that. Thank you. I do not have first strike. There's a lot of things you get from doing Chadley stuff that I was like, Ooh, these seem like great rewards. Oh, well. <laughs> I don't... I, I can't... I'm not going to spend an entire stream just doing Chadley stuff. Um... You can have subversion as a treat. Anyway, well, yeah, so healing. He does so he does not have healing, but he can kind of heal himself a little bit with vengeance mode. She has prayer. Let me put that there. Um Yuffie has uh she has healing. Up to Kira, which is fine. Kira, we're getting I'm getting to a point where Kira is not really great, and it's kind of more about Kiraga. But Kiraga uses so much MP, man. Um so everyone so far has healing. I don't think Kate Sniff has a heal. And then uh, Tifa has her chakra. Yeah. So so that seems pretty good. That almost everyone can heal. Um, You can have fire as a treat. Why not? And then anything else to throw? Bear, I mean, I'm, I'm like, I might as well just throw things out. Uh, boo doo doo the main problem is going to be when I'm like, ooh, this is a good material. I'll be like, oh, God, who the fuck do I give it to? Nah, nah, nah. All right. Make sure you save. Yeah, right. That was one thing that was really annoying about the Chadley VR missions. I keep calling them VR missions because what else am I going to call them? Um, going to call them what they're called? I don't think so. Um, is there's no way in-game to re-equip your party. You have to quit out and then stop talking to Chadley and then mash through his text. And then you can go into the menu to swap stuff out. At least I didn't see an option while you're talking to him in the VR screen to swap stuff out. I'm like, that seems like a really obvious room for improvement if they so choose. So, am the wheelie master. It's me. Let's get the fuck out of here. So I'd be like, okay, that was rough. Let me re-equip my guys. Let me back all the way out and try again. Okay. Hi. Let me actually get going here. We're going to go here. Also, I noticed one thing. I didn't mess with it at all. 
But I was doing a bunch of uh, uh, region hopping as I was warping around and uh, clearing up some stuff off stream. And I noticed that we now have a tab for the Meridian Ocean, which has a meter. And when I zoomed in, it's like, it shows you where all the ports are for Sid. And I'm like, can I just hop in the plane and just drive across the ocean? And are there things out? It says there's four bits of intel. Can I go all the way up here? Like, that's kind of wild. So I guess I'll mess with that later because we're probably going to hop in the plane after the gold saucer. But yeah. I, yeah, like, can I go to the north? <laughs> can, can I look at Midgar from the water? Like, that's it's kind of wild. This is the pirate quest for the ocean. You can just drive around and get crafting stuff, too. That is wild. But anyway, I was like, that's neat. This was the final prologue. You can also do pirate stuff. Gotcha. Yeah, I figured it was some... I didn't think there was going to be, like, a ton of stuff out there. But I'm like, that's kind of neat. It's got its own... The ocean's so named for the manner in which it divides the eastern and western continents. I don't think the planet of FF7 World has a name, and I don't think the continents have names. And they're just like, you know, the continents. Maybe they do have names, and I'm misremembering. But anyway, we're going to go to the Gold Saucer, and, and I don't know, play some minigames, and maybe plot. Let's go. Forever game, never ending. Do we meet Edge Vampire Boy? We did. We did. And he said, I'm going back to sleep. But then he was like, I guess I'll follow you. you. Should split up to look for Dio. And there he is. <laughs> just saying. If I catch you goofing off, so help me out. Yo, Dave. A sea in an ocean? I think seas are smaller. Mm. Uh, Cloud, you got a minute? There's something I failed to mention about the Temple of the Ancients. Yeah. You might call it a legend or a war. Uh huh. You see. No one who goes into the temple ever comes out again. No one. And I'm wondering if you really want to take everyone to a place like that. No, that's fine. You said it yourself. It's just a legend. I did, aye, but... Let's focus on finding Dio and the Keystone for now. I'm sure they specify in the OG. That's the thing is, I don't think they... Okay, I'm glad I didn't fast travel here first, because now we're locked here. What the cat doing? You know, like, meow, cloud, meow. Oh, I, I stepped in some shite. Do Scots say shite? I feel like they do. All right. Um, where are we going? Just hanging out. Woo! Yeah, we finally made it to the gold saucer. Let's stand on the logo and dance. I feel like they're all employees and they're paid to look like they're having fun. Woo, yeah! Uh, Dio, ba Battle Square? That dude likes fighting. All right. Oh yeah, these are good. Oh, I did want to see, I did want to look at, um, I neglected to check. Is it key weapons? Um, no, it's that. The stuffed Moogle. Oh! See, now this is endearing. Their in-game models are a little bit horrifying. But that's pretty good. He got them feats. That's pretty good. The roof is cut out. Oh yeah. <laughs> there he. There he is. This is a good game. Is snowboarding available yet? I wouldn't expect that to be available at all in this game, because in the original game, snowboarding isn't available until a. Snowboarding was this too. Don Corneo's back? Welcome to paradise. The gold Why is Don Corneo back? Nobody this asked for this. Oh god. He is back. Uh, where was Battle, Battle Square? Why couldn't he have died instead of Wedge? Why couldn't he have gone? It's Eric with a steel chair! 
I love these tunnels, man. It's neat. Oh, oh god. Hi. How you doing, Cloud? I'm fine. Huh? I feel like Cloud should do the thing. You know if you're ever on one of these kind of moving walkways in an airport, and if you're walking on it, and then when you hit the stationary ground, you're like, ah, shit. Kind of wish you did a little that when you stepped off of it. For, you know, the, the full realism. It should have been you! Check it out, Cloud. What's up? Can you believe this? Wasn't Don Corneo Wu Tai in the original game? Much Joe later on. Is welcome in Midgar and decided to Which I assume is going to be the same saucer. in the third game. The Great shop timing, thing. eh? Interesting. There's an event being held at the Musclehead Coliseum tomorrow. Extra big if step. If there's a dress rehearsal today, <laughs> let's run this one going there. super fast. We should check it out. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's check it out. Yeah. So she's up to blue. But as long as I don't make anyone else friendly, we should be fine. Should be. I swear to God, if I end up getting someone other than Red Thirteen, so help me. Aha! Found him. Good deal. Greetings, Mr. Director. Hmm. He doesn't he look quite right. Is he a cutout, like Rufus? Give in there. No. Gotta be mean there. If you want all since you was optional, right? Yes. In the original game, Don Corneo shows up. I think he shows up at the beginning of Wall Market, obviously, and then you don't see him again until Wu Tai, which is optional, but it kind of gives, like, a closure to his arc, if you want to put it like that. If he even has an arc. You know what I mean. I'm not going to spoil anything, but. Seems they're moving him here. Either entirely or partially. Hey! Well, if it isn't our friendly fugitives. You good? You're looking hale and hearty. What yeah, it's weird. You? I think they're saving it for game I three. made a painful discovery that the Turks are stronger than they look. You, sir, should know better. You're no spring chicken. <laughs> What's that for? Speaking of old things, whatever happened to that wee keystone thingy? What was... Okay. We need to get our hands on it. Hmm. It was part of your collection, last we heard. Hmm. It was, yes. And in fact, still is. Point of order, my ancestors owned it. Don't you think that makes me its rightful owner? Hmm. A cetera, are you? That, my dear, is a bold claim. <laughs> mm -hmm. But still, who am I to dispute your heritage? You may, of course, have the keystone. That is, on one condition. You must take part in our exclusive event, the fight for naming rights. Is that the Luigi's Dio's Mansion theme? Champions versus the Corneo family. Should my team fall to those rogues, the Gold Saucer will become Corneo Land. Flex it out. Training hard and getting those gains. What's up, party people? What's up? It's a challenge from the dark! Signed and on! Give the people what they want! Take it in a piece! But look at me. I can barely lift a finger. And here I was, lamenting my lot in life, when you came along. Tis fate. Nay, divine intervention. What say you? Will you be my champions and go to war against Don Corneo? I'll do it. I'll fight. We win, we get the keystone. Right? As agreed. You have my word. Then we're in. Then we have ourselves a deal. <laughs> Naturally, I want you in peak physical condition for the big bout, so please use my hotel to rest up. Ooh, great. I'll jog on ahead and tell the others then. His hotel? Oh, the burger. He must have, like, a really nice hotel. You know? I can't imagine by his hotel he means the kitschy haunted mansion one, right? 
No, there was the part when, it, when it, the music when it panned up there and the music was like ba 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 ba. I'm like that just sounds like the Luigi's Mansion theme. Sup? The fate of the gold saucer rests on your yeah, shoulders. Yeah, it's kitschy. Don't let kitschy me doesn't down. mean bad. It means it's kitschy. Muscle head calls. All right. Who knew we were gonna have to fight people? I, it's weird to me that he's like, oh, you claim to be of the Cetra. A borderline mythological. Also, people call them the ancient ancients. It's weird he knows the term Cetra, and it's also weird he's just like, yeah, no, it's fine. I be I'm choosing to believe you. You can have the thing. Oh, all right. Kitchy, no, Kate said. will host an epic contest to decide the fate of the gold saucer. That's rough. He has to stand here for an entire day. Muscle in and exchange your gold saucer points for fabulous prizes. Match your physical attack will solve that. Um, right. I do have 680 points, so I could spend them on some good stuff. I probably, I'm, unless, sh should I save my GP or should I just start spending it on, on silly things like this? I just want this in real life. Square. Damn it. Pretty sure that's a very good KD emote. KD sitting, spending on cards and stuff. All right, cool. I was like, I don't know if there's a thing later on that's gonna be like, no, you want to have a lot of GP. There's some really good stuff you get with GP in the original. But uh, yeah. Give me that. Give me that. Give give me give me that. Give me this. Um, that's, yeah, give me that, 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 and give me that, give me some of those, give me the cards, because, you know, I might actually want, oh, that is a collectible, I, I might want, I might want to play cards, oh, I totally, wow. Kate said skill points. I completely glossed it. I thought that was a, a card for some reason. All right, cool. Oh, I didn't buy the Dio card. He's gonna be mad. We hope to see your sinewy self again Bro, soon. Don't talk about my Tomorrow, sinewy self. I'm allowed to be as sinewy as I want to be. Yeah, 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 yay, yep, yeah. It's neat. It's good. Um, those are fun. Yes. Yes. Shit, he's got a little thing on his foot. It's good. That's good. How much for all of these square? Eighty thousand dollars. Oh, okay. Well. Ho 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 ho. Oh ho ho ho. Oh ho 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 ho. I love how they even have like the shine. On the, on the on the face, like stitched on there, slapped on there. It's good detail. Good materials work. Square. Anyway, got stuff time for twenty bucks from Japanese we'll store. That's the thing is here in the states, I think like that would be like a hundred dollars. Or go to Japan and find one in some random store for like five bucks. All right. So where am I? Where am I going? Uh. Bleh. Hey, what's that? We're going to the spooky mansion? Alright. <laughs> I could warp there, but it's kind of fun to just kind of run through the duality. Thank you, Pickery. What if Eddie Murphy's there? I hope he is. I have a Tom Berry kit like that, though. It's on the prowl. Does it move when you're not looking? Um, where's, where's the spooky hotel? It's, uh, ahead and down. Park Central. Gotta follow the signs. Uh, Spooky Mansion. Pardon me, pardon, pardon me. Ghost Square. Beep, 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 beep. Beep, 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 beep. It lives by my bed. This in the Cosmo Canyon. Yeah. Whoa. Where are you going? 
Me? Go square? Yeah, Viz, you live here. Right? Ooh. Tornado! Thanks for nine months! Enjoy your ruby key. Oh, thank you. Ooh. What? Who? Screams of pain. All that gore and more awaits you in tomorrow's gruesome match at Battle Square. But the rent is killer. Oh, sorry. Pardon. <laughs> She's good. I'm still sad that these are 3D little ghost people and not 2D silly cutout ghosts. Do I need to pull up my screenshot of the original again? Check the shop. Good idea. The entry deadline for our Thou Art Rose. There's a reason? Oh. Oh. It... Janky's cloud. My sensors detect uh, utmost proportion of high... Wait. I, d I just glossed over the fact that Yin and Yang are running the shop. Hold on. One thing. First things first. Hello there, Cloud. Are you enjoying yourself here at the Gold Saucer? Four years ago, the park underwent extensive renovations and was outfitted with state-of-the-art technology. Even today, the Gold Saucer continues to expand with new attractions currently in the works. I found my screenshot. For anyone that hasn't seen her or if you would just like to see them again, this is the spooky mansion in the original. And Barrett's like, I don't know what's going on. Don't worry about that. Worry about this. This? But this. Where is he, Square? What happened to him? He waves, by the way. It's animated. And he's, he's in there, and every, every now and then he goes, oh, and goes home, Starface. They're so fucking good. Pac-Man, Homestar-looking ghosts. They're my favorite part of the game. I'm glad there's still two ghosts in that spot, but they're just like normal ass, like Disney Haunted Mansion ghosts. The gold saucer is powered by proprietary modular reactors. It is but due to environmental I am incorporeal. The reactors are cycled between active and dormant states to slow Corel's desertification. Well, that's considerate. Don't concern yourself with our research while you're here, Cloud. Use this time to unwind. The scrub daddy It'll sponges. Do you good. Yeah, yeah. Hello there, Cloud. All right. Four years ago. Yeah, what's going today, on over here? The gold saucer yeah, thanks. I spent them already. Oh, God. Oh, look at you. No hard feelings? A 2D goes to 3 game would be pretty funny. It'd be great. Friend told you a story. All right, cool. I can't wait to see the entry deadline for our Dow Arthur. All right. Hello. I hear you'll be taking part in the main event of the Coliseum Bleh. tomorrow. Rim grinning ghosts come out to socialize. There's fully scary skeletons. Thank you for this. <laughs> thank you for the six six six. Hey, thank you. Remember, you just don't have to stop the fire. Moan, click, 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 groan. Is that your audition? To work in the haunted hotel? Last chance to date someone else. I don't know. We're bro. We're, I'm bromancing red. Not in a weird way. In like a, in like a, in like bro chef hanging out with Garrus way. Because yes, I did play Mass Effect as bro chef because I have bad taste. You knew that already. And I did bromance Garrus, and we shot bottles in the Citadel, and it was fun. It was a good time. He's our BFF. One of your comrades is hoping to spend a moment alone with Cloud later this evening. Cloud's relationship with his allies will determine how this portion of the story unfolds. If you wish to improve a bond with a teammate, complete any remaining odd jobs that feature them before you proceed. You'd better rest up before your big day. Until to Yes, a bit? Oh, just to, like, rest up your HP. I think we're good. Let's go. Best of luck to you tomorrow. I trust you. Knock him dead. It's very nice they tell you beforehand. This is... This is the point of no return for the optional romance that doesn't impact anything. 
instead of the original game, which is kind of. Hmm. What about? <sighs> this happens no matter what, right? I'm like, this better not be on, set up cloud and air. See you later. It always plays. Cool. This game unlocks like 10 side quests. This chapter, you build effect from your favorite. That's nice. How's it going? Not so good. I had no idea you were into songwriting. <laughs> oh, I'm not. But I wanted to give it a shot. I see. Well, good for you. Never know till you try. Hmm. Well, you need to worry about DMC for possible song coming up. Uh -huh. We will find out together. <laughs> they say curiosity kills the cat. I'm just gonna let it play, and if I have to replace it with Katamari for the VOD, then we'll find out. VOD watchers will find out in real time. Oh. That was a weird transition. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Did Cloud just peek into an alternate reality? Excuse me? Is that what that's implying, or are they just fucking with me? Because Cloud was sitting in a wheelchair across from Aerith in that other world. Kingdom Hearts is like... Okay, alright. He did the last time he was here specifically. Specifically in the haunted room? Here. Oh. Fucked up. Dreams are alternate realities. Cloud's all yours. I'll take care of Aerith after. Yes, ma'am. Remember the song from during the Game Awards? It's that song. Gotcha. It's like the, the new theme song thing. Yeah, I mean, it might... We'll find out. We'll see. I don't... Oh, boy, a towel. Is this gonna be depressing? Uh, welcome to Final Fantasy. Yeah. Do be deep, go beep. Eat this towel. You'll feel better. Eat be deep, go boop. Earth sure does sleep a lot, huh? It's better this way. What? Why? Cause of Cloud. He's still sick. Please, you gotta make Cloud get better. You gotta. I'll probably take the armor off of him, you know. I mean, I'd love to, but... You, uh... You said it's better for Aerith to stay asleep because Cloud's sick. Why is that? Because... She'll die if she wakes up. Oh, you think? What makes you say that? Promise not to tell? <sighs> when she wakes up, a scary man is gonna kill her. Huh? Cloud tries to save her, but he doesn't make it in time. He almost does, but he doesn't. She likes Cloud, so she's happy he came. Really, really happy. But... But... She dies. That's why you have to make Cloud better. If he's sick, he can't save Aerith. <sighs> Marlene, are you sure you didn't just have a bad dream? No. I saw it. Oh, okay. I did! <laughs> Don't worry, I believe you. With everything that's going on, how could I not? Okay. Just one question, if it's all right. Can you tell me what the scary man looked like? Please? His hair was long. And gray. Did he have a theme song? Did it go like, pa pa pa? 
Or was it more like bu 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 Of all the people. How many wings did he have? <laughs> was it this many? He was very pretty. I think he was selling me ramen or something? I don't remember. He was a baby girl. <laughs> Zach, did you see? They're blooming. Would you look at that? These were always Aerith's favorites. Do you think this means she's going to wake up? The man with long gray hair Maybe. was Bugenhagen. Can always hope. It was Bugenhagen. <sighs> he stabbed an Italian pump. Hey, Elmira. I've got to go away for a bit. Need to talk to someone about Cloud. And who is this someone? A doctor? Bungaga. Well, he's, uh. Close enough, I suppose. <laughs> well, hurry on back, okay? This is a bad idea. It's hard enough looking after these two with your help, <laughs> but without it. <laughs> Everyone without immediately you, went, I'd oh no. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Don't worry, I'm going by bike. Shouldn't take long. Just keep an eye on them while I'm gone, okay? Oh, and if Aerith does wake up, please don't let her leave. <laughs> no promises. That girl snuck out more times than I can count. <laughs> don't let her. Please. Haha, <laughs> seriously though. I won't. It's according to the VA for back pain. <laughs> Damn it. See you later. Make sure that you're back by dinner. Uh-huh. It's to die for, would you say? Uh -huh. I mean, based off things I remember from the original that we haven't gotten to yet in this, which will probably be disc three if it lines up, there are reasons why Zack would be like, Hojo might know something, but it still sucks. This is still a bad plan. Hmm? I thought about what you said. Why is every child of the shining? stop thinking about it, actually. About how it's up to each, each of us to find our own purpose in life. Because an avalanche, I think I found mine. We don't have a whole lot of time. So tonight's got to be the night. Do yourself a favor and steer clear of Reactor 6. Biggs. Take care. Biggs. 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 No, I didn't. That's not what I meant. <clears throat> got to find Elmira. Biggs, me, Biggs. Biggs Gaga. Oh, come on. Nah. Not when I'm finally getting invested in Zack's story. <laughs> Every time it cuts to Zack, I'm like, all right, but what's going on with Cloud? Now it's like, now now I want to see what's going on with Zack. Damn it. <laughs> Who's at the door? Who is it? A visitor. Come again. Was it you knocking on my door? All right. What's up? Yeah. Hey. Woo. Is this a bad time? Nope. <laughs> hey, what's up? Nothing. Couldn't find anyone. Thought they might be here. Just me. Bro oh. night at the arcade. Actually, there's this play I want to see, and would you mind coming with? Yeah. I already have the tickets, but... <sighs> Look at me. There's no way I'm getting in by myself. Let's put you I in a trench you. coat. You do? Great! Yay! 
a premium ticket. How'd you buy tickets? He, he wore his Shinra outfit from the boat. I would like to buy a ticket to the theater. It's cats and he's gonna bark the whole time. Thank you. Yay. This is way better than going out with Tifa or, or Aerith. I would have settled for Barrett. I think Barrett would be See very fun for this. Soon. So I didn't know. I knew that this was a sequence, but I didn't know how it worked and that there was this whole Something hidden point system. I'm going to have and when I played the original game, I ended up going on the date with Tifa. And it was great. I had a fun time. But now that I know, like, there's this whole hidden point system, I'm like, man. Don't fuck it up. Don't fuck it up. I want him to think I'm cool. Ever Bear's Day is real good. I bet it is. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, I feel like they, this game in particular, this version of it, at least, has done a good job where it doesn't really seem like there's a bad option. I might judge you if you go out of your way to pick Yuffie, but that would probably still be fun. Just if you're like, that's the one, I'd be like, no one else, no one else would you rather go hang out with? All right. Uh, where am I going? I'm going... Where am I going? Uh... To the theater, right. So it's... Is that Wonderman Square? And I'm... No, no. The Wonderman's where all the extra games are. Yeah, she does. She does. She does have little sister time for scamping vibes. Which, again, I stand by what I said. I don't think there's a bad option. I just think she's the lowest on my list for who I'd be like, yeah. Let's hang out with her. Event Square, that's the one. How can it not be weird? I mean, if it's explicitly platonic. There's a day with the bros that's Kate, Sin Kate Fitzin and Sid. Is that an option? Is that even possible? That can't be possible, but if, if that is possible, that's what I want. I want that more than anything. That is? How do you, do you have to have no points with everyone? Come on, Cloud. If you don't get maxed out with anyone. Ah, oh, fuck! <laughs> oh, no! Undo! I want to undo! Why is he like us so much? Damn it! No! Uh, gotta re okay. Restart the whole game. I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to look that up after stream. That sounds delightful. No, it's fine. I don't regret it. Why is the child here? Uh, I'm waiting for one of the actors to come out. I was hoping I could ask them for an autograph. He's like 40 something. But yes, he is a teenager in dog years, which is why I'm being very specific that this isn't a date. Because that'd be fucked up and weird. We're broing out. We're hanging out. It's Boys Night. Boys Night Incarnate is Kate, Sith, Sid, and Vincent. Just all standing on opposite sides of a room, A-posing, like, uh, watching YouTube with us? Maybe. I don't know if I'll watch it on stream or not. That's just what bros do. Are you here to see Loveless? Yeah, well, when you put it like that solo. Uh, yeah. Put, well, I'm gonna watch the play. That's what Boys Night feels like. Yeah, boys stand on opposite sides of the room, A-posing, going, what do I do with my hands? That's just what lads do. Huh? What? Huh? Is this a cult? What's what? Why the? Why the gong? Wow, they really wanted to talk to make them. Congratulations. <laughs> Would you like to sing it? Me? Is Chadley responsible for this? Metal Gear. Oh.
Uh huh. Yeah, theater do be like this. The art is starting. <laughs> If Katamari music is playing in the VOD, you know why. I feel like this would sync up pretty well with the Katamari theme song, though. Remember FF6? <laughs> I haven't played it, but I do know that scene. Two winged angel? Now I've seen everything. Yeah, they're. Whoa. Shinra would use a dead actress's likeness. Oh, 100%. No. So is this all through the goggles? And there's no one on the stage right now? Since Jesse's gone, they built a VR version of the performance. Yeah, it's pretty fucked up. Shinra would use a hologram of Tupac. <laughs> yeah, all the Avalanche people are like, oh my god, that sucked. He clapping with those! Man, that lady was beautiful! Yeah. <laughs> Hell of an actor, too. Today's performance takes audience participation to the next level. Yeah. The you will become the hero of the story. Wait, that's how they're pitching this? Okay, alright. I'm picking up my controller. <laughs> A mechanical metropolis built of blood, sweat, and gears. The city of Garya. An insatiable machine devoid of pity. He looks great. Neighbors on all sides fell victim to its hunger, while it grew larger and ever more powerful. The whirlwind of conquest swept up many, including him. Alfre was the traveler's name. In search of the goddess's blessing, he had journeyed forth alone. He flung himself into the fray in the hope of becoming a hero, only to be flung in jail and branded a villain. Oh no. Oh. Choose your path. Face your fate or test your might. Tutor yeah, give me a tutorial. <laughs> How does this... What? Alright. Test your might. Come, my faithful blade. Join me in the dance. Do, 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 do. Get it. Oh. What, just any time? It's not timing, it's just while it's... Alright. Okay. I thought it was going to be like the... The, the 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 parade. So just if you see it, hit it.
I hate sparkles. Kaboom! I missed one and three were. Oh, it's there is a timing to proceed element. Or not to proceed. What's the timing element of it? Huh? Do that again or face your fate? I'm gonna face my fate. Just hit as soon as you see it. Gotcha. Alright, well. Hamlet! These bars shall not hold me. I must fly free. Like Cloud Jr. before me. Release me! My blade thirsts for vengeance! Oh, he's good. Alfred! Are you unharmed? Rosa, how did you find me? Your woeful cries could not fail to reach mine ears. Chadley? What have you done, Chadley? Take not another step, gentle princess. He looks great. Barbados. Ho oh, oh. ho. Would the cur defy his captor? I, by the grace of the goddess, as she has set me free, even now. So too shall she guide my blade. Uh oh. <laughs> you know not whom you face, nor that you stand in his dominion. For I am Barbados, the Dragon King. And by the draconic power that courses through my veins, I shall give you ample cause to rule this day. All right. Thank you for your time. Now what's the dog's pitch? Pride goeth before the fall, and I, Garm, shall deliver you to hell. How shall your feeble aegis fare against piercing fang and keenest claw? <laughs> pride goeth before the <laughs> pride goeth pride go pride goeth before the pride 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 who we think in chat goeth before the fall <laughs> pride pride goeth before the pride pride pair was a theater kid pride pride goeth before the pride go pride Pride. Do you really want to hurt Red? Fair. You know what? Wait, go with boyfriend. Oh. Pride Shit. Pride I was like, got it. Wait, no. Mm, no. Mm, no. I don't want to hurt the boy. Tremble in fear before the mighty dragon draw. This is rad. I'm worried I'm gonna fuck it up. I wish I could just enjoy it. <laughs> nah. No! Ooh! This is just Final Fantasy 16. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. What? Bravo! What a splendid show! Never have I seen a swordsman dance with such grace and skill. 
<laughs> excited to get to watch the this goddess must yeah. have seen fit to grant him a sliver of her strength. Perhaps his dreams of becoming a hero may yet be fulfilled. Now then, ah, hail and well met, noble Alfred. Oh, he's running around. Though I am but a humble fool, some talent and divination oh. do I possess. Anything you wish to know, I shall gladly reveal. Hmm. Hmm. Your future with Rosa? What's that? What's that pose? Oh. And what about the Garm's weakness? His Guimi's weakness? Is there a third option? Um, no. I mean, I mean. <laughs> ask him about the. I'm gonna ask about the boy. The hellhound is racked with a hunger that only a fresh bone might sate. Give the dog a bone. Oh, meat! He yearns to bring his fangs to bear, to sink them into bone. Delicious, alluring, and irresistible. And knowing this, you can surely bring him to heal. I am stuffed. Could eat another bite if I try. Well, that's enough of my blethering. He's gone. It's time we set the stage in you. Oh. Whoa. What the dog May doing? My infernal fangs find their mark and taste of your flesh. Must we clash? Must we? Why are there so many of him? Must I win? A truly remarkable display of swordsmanship, enough to prove his heroism. You feast clothing him. He had been unjustly imprisoned and stripped of his wings. Nevertheless, Alfred was resolved to press onward and reclaim the heavens. Now, without further ado, I like his little run. Friends, lend me your ears. Our aspiring heroes and indomitable princess's tale draws to a close. Only one act remains. Parting is indeed such sweet sorrow, but as they say, all good things must come to an end. Though it is our wish that this tale remain with you long after we are gone. So, my friends, will you join us in our conquest of despair? Woo! Despair! Spectacular! Though our tale be loveless named, we may yet restore hope to this heartbroken world. The Dragon King Varvados fears only true love. And so our hero Alfred will reveal to him its power. He will go to his beloved and proclaim their blessed bond with a kiss. Now, stand before your soulmate and let the world know your heart. I don't, I don't want to kiss Red. <laughs> Can I pick Barrett? <laughs> Yeah, jeez. <laughs> mm hmm Oh, oh. Oh, jeez, clown. I have to. I have to. <laughs> What's up? 
my love. Are you kidding me right now? No! Face the charade. Love is not but an illusion. No! Oh, let's go. God is above. Holy shit. Let my blade Four stars. True. That one was a mash, which is why I hit it twice. Yay! S is for sight. Bereft of wings and broken. I consign you to the abyss. Now, kid. An inspiring victory, truly. <laughs> Did Proof Phoenix burn down the town? Love indeed conquers all. No, it's. Is it not? It's good fire. <laughs> what awaits you at journey's end? I wonder. Will the goddess grant you her blessing? Or will the flames of vengeance consume you? All shall be revealed, O oh puppet of fate. So dance while you still have time. Dance to your frayed strings break. And you can dance no more. I hope we can unlock monsters. Um. Hope we can unlock Monster Hunter Alfred, Barrett look. as an outfit. Oops, 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 oops. Must you go? Yeah, everything's on Those fire. Those I hold dear are waiting. I don't understand. I cannot. But. Yeah, what Jax was saying about the original is very good. Be safe. Rest assured, I shall return. Where's Tifa? Good question. You needn't promise that you'll wait. For I know that I will find you here. Woo! Also, I'm trying to remember in the original how it's set up. Well, of it's not VR, it's like actually them up on the stage, and I forget why they're like, uh, you, get on the stage. I think that it's like, I think they just pick people from the audience. Now is it Katamari time? What? <laughs> I'm just gonna let it play in the... RIP, it's just silent. It's like the game knows it needs to be quiet. <laughs> Close it. What? Wait, it's actually just. What? Is streamer mode on? Is there is there a streamer mode? Did the game mute itself? <laughs> what is happening? I didn't touch anything. Uh. Well, maybe, maybe there was an option I turned on somewhere. I guess in that case, uh, all right. Well, shit. All right. <laughs> this is great. Well, um, just going to.
gonna hit over here real quick and uh there we go there we go wow she's good oh yeah there's there's sound effects happening that's so weird I left them on the sliders all the way down? No. Pretty sure I turned it back up. She generally sounds amazing. Well, yeah, it was in the trailer. It was a little bit of this. Am I sure I did? I mean, the music was playing everything up until now. And I was doing stuff yesterday and didn't have, you know, I had music when I was doing stuff off screen. Definitely did not reset us online for I'll check after this. I don't know if I can check now. Probably not. Anyway, at least this way I know I won't get a copyright claim on this song. There's a separate music and song slider? Maybe that's it? Maybe. Well, I'm sure this is on YouTube if you want to see it normally, but. The Nana synced up. Hanamari goes with everything. It was 2 a.m. It was pretty late. Well, I can pause, but it's probably just gonna be like, yeah. You can't check options during cutscenes. The day come, I get, yeah, I'm just gonna be mad at Panda Namco then. It's weird that music and song would be different sliders, but. Right. Oh no! Oh no! 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 <laughs> bye bye! <laughs> no! No! <laughs> 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 oh, no. <laughs> oh, I'm so sad. Oh, I'm so sad. Yay. Ooh. Ooh, encore. <laughs> Great song, Aerith. I love the way it went. Na 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 na. Go on. Yay! Wait, so. Oh. My relationship changed. Does it matter anymore? He's also asleep. So was this VR? I'm confused. He canonically tried to kiss bear. That's King, dude. Vincent Eepy. He hasn't been out of his coffin for a long time. It doesn't change with Sid because he was asleep. Eyed there. <laughs> Attention! The sky wheel will be closing soon. Please line up and have your ticket ready. <sighs> okay then. That settles it. The whole we've got to ride the sky wheel before it's too oh, late, Cloud. We do. It was VR Thank the you whole for time. Us for tonight's special performance of Loveless. Oh my God. To continue the magic this evening. Ugh. You're invited to use your to the oh. show for one free ride on the sky wheel. 
One free ride. The stunning view of the gold saucer and the dazzling night sky. Wish the vibes were still relevant for the sphere grid. Wait, how do how does your relationship play into the folio? Yeah, I gotta check the options. If I fucked up, then I do apologize, but it kind of worked out. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, I told. I was like, all right, I got everything back to where it was supposed to be. Oop. It was perfect. <laughs> I, <did laughs> I literally. I was like, music, got it. Didn't even notice there's a thing. That's. Yep. Great work, me. Anyway, this is why I love streaming, though. <laughs> Things happen. A a accidental streamer mode. We got bye bye. <laughs> why is it a different slider? I wish I could tell you. That's the first time it's done anything, apparently. Well, granted, it's the first time it's hap anything's happened since I turned that down. Now I'm tempted to just leave it at zero. So anything, anytime the game goes silent, I can just be like, oh. The VOD is... I mean, it's something else is going to get me claimed, but at least that won't, I guess. It's funny. Why the VR simulate it? You know, it taps into your neo neocortex and it fucks your brain up and tells you it'd be funny. If it is... If that was the intent... Um, the sky wheel's up there, right? Yeah. Really kiss would also be silent. I mean, I could turn it back to zero. I could do that. We have the technology. Sky wheel. Sky wheel. Sky wheel. Or should we just go play games with... Can we just go play games? Why make a slider not a toggle? I mean... It's kind of a best of both worlds, because if you're like, Oh, the music is just way too loud, you can just... But you can't turn it... You can't change it during a cutscene. So... It's not as useful. Is that Cosmo Canyon motif because I picked red? I don't know. Where did you hear Cosmo Canyon motif? In, in the, um... No... No, I want to stumble. In the lobby? Oh. I hope so. I can go back. Red's not saying anything, so. Hey, Red, you want to watch me play video games? Yo, let's hang out. All right, you stand here and watch me play stuff. Cool. This is a good date. <laughs> Rule number one of how to put on a good date. Step one, do something that you like doing and don't ask the other person if they want to do it. Step two, do whatever you want in a way that they can't participate in. So they have to watch you. What kind of loser would just watch a great oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, it really did just drop a little Cosmo Canyon in there. Did they make a version of this theme for every date that puts their motif in? What the shit? That's incredible. Here's one's way more obvious. That's amazing. Tifa says Tifa's theme. Yuffie's gotta have Yuffie's theme. I don't know what Barrett's would have. Does Barrett have a theme? He must have a theme. Because Red doesn't really have his own theme, just Cosmo Canyon's kind of associated with them. I'm trying to remember what his theme is. I'm sure I'd recognize it if I heard it. This game is over 400 songs. It's messed up. There's themes like Coral. That makes sense. It was really hard in the piano minigame. Hmm. Oh, I could tell. As I said before, Remake's OST was one of my favorite parts of Remake. So I knew that even if this game sucked, the music would be good. Something about all these couples sets my heart aflutter. I don't need a partner to ride the Skywheel, do I? Just bring Mai on your smartphone. 
something about all these couples sets my heart aflutter. All right. Remember, we can go alone. You can go alone. I think there's a way to do that in the original. The music is so good. It's good. Get you're like, oh, get Robo Chadley. Are you ready to ride? No. I'm. I'm. I've made the executive decision that I'm going to knowingly turn song down to zero. <laughs> that is, I am making that decision. Are you ready to ride? All right. Yeah, I'm ready. So if, I, now I will understand if the game goes silent, why it went silent. And then chat can just tell me, oh yeah, this is a great part you're missing. Instead of the accidental stronger decision. Oh boy, oh boy. Come on, come on, come on! Seems incredibly precarious to have it moving over just like a giant fucking drop. Cool it. How can I? It's... You can spin it? <laughs> you can make it spin? <laughs> That's amazing. I got this. Pretty good, right? You're a pro. <laughs> oh, he's having a great time. Bird. Whoa. Fruit. Hey, you're gonna drool on the seat. <laughs> Close call. Even virtual Joe's a dick, dude. Yeah. doesn't leave the ride, okay? It might sound crazy, but back in Midgar, Aerith and I could both see the future. Well, that would explain a lot. I'm guessing you can't anymore, though? Nope. Not even a bit. Whatever we had, I think the Whispers took it from us when we left. Huh. It seems Arbiters of Fate can do whatever they want. So you told us. Oh, did I? Huh. I wonder if this means we'll eventually forget they even exist. We'd be better off if we did, frankly. There's no point in wasting our time worrying about fate if we can't change it. You're right. Still, there is one thing I need you to remember. You have to keep Aerith safe. Hmm. Uh, I'll try. I mean it, Cloud. I don't remember what's supposed to happen, but I do know she's in danger. Shake. <laughs> what? Shake on it. <laughs> Why is it that very soft? Huh? Nothing. Forget it. Damn it. Why is it that after his voice changes, his intellect drops? He's just like more openly childlike, I guess. I'm glad that we could speak in private, Cloud. Hello. Yeah. You're good company. Thanks. Hey. You let us do a little scritch. Yeah, we're friends. That was fun. Yeah, he's letting himself be more excited. Bet the red. Same VA. Next day, this guy's above Corel. I guess it's nearby. Full disclosure, didn't know anything about this promised land. 
but I do now. And seriously, wow, find of the century. You never know. That intel could be bad. Our conclusions are based on a long-standing theory. It's safe to assume the Temple and the Promised Land are one and the same. If the Ancients headed there, then it's gotta be the right place. Hm. Good thing we let her go. Oh. Rufus is tagging along. I understand the Keystone is to be awarded to the winners of today's special event. How should we proceed? I have an idea. Now I gotta take purple fourteen on a date. All right, let's bring this one home. <laughs> the temp yeah, no one leaves the temple, so the temple killing you won't. Your battle party was consists of cloud his date the previous night and one member of your choosing. Once your teammates are prepared for the upcoming matches, speak with the reception. All right, probably should grab Barrett. Let's get some dubs. Everyone's talking. Uh, crazy thing I was ever percent. Let them use wind. Let him. Just never saying my Moogle. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, FF Remake did it a lot too. I don't really care for it. <laughs> it's it's like there's there's crowd walla to make it seem like there's a lot of people talking, and then there's it turned dialogue to zero. I know. There's crowd ambient noise where you can like can't really pick out too much of what people are saying, and then there's everyone has unique bespoke dialogue and they're all saying it at the same time, which is like just okay. Yeah, I hear you. Oh, anyway. Um, Eric's in my party. Eric's in my party. Sorry, Eric. Whoop. Bum, bum, bum. Who did I give the second assess to? I just want to double check that it's not with anyone here. I think I gave it to Yuffie. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. Cool. BG3 and Infinite Wolf fuck this up, too. Yeah, it's like... It's the equivalent of in an old RPG being able to walk up to random people and they all have a thing to say, but in here it'd be more with, with so many people it'd be really tedious and awkward. We still have a few tickets left to just for run up to everyone, contest. but instead they're just they're all just saying shit. The girls are talking. Participate in the match once you're prepared. Yeah, I'm prepared. Anybody want to talk about anything? Right. Oh, okay. Um, I'm gonna save. Bump, 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 bump. Ends up nuking the BG3 because he talk too much and it was bliss. Good. Huh? Oh, over to the side. That makes sense. We're only moments away from tonight's main event. Are you ready to rumble, champions? NPCs and Dragon's Dogma. This is what having ESP would be like. Yeah. Just everyone's constantly just <laughs> doing Excellent. shit. Best of luck to you in the arena. Woo. Number 10. That's just Sid's catchphrase. He didn't know they were counting. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Gold Saucer's Palace of Power, the Musclehead Coliseum. Tonight, Don Corneo and yours truly will do battle for the right to name this gilded paradise for posterity. It feels like only yesterday that I was a scrawny young lad chasing a dream in the desert with him. 
<laughs> oh, I'm so glad I turned it down. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, man. The fact that you still get the sound effects of them walking around. Ho he ho he. Please, Jack Frost. Don't stop or doubt the dawn. Come on. Don't stop. No, 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 no. Come on. No, I'm not turning on the music. This is great. There we are. It's it's like when people make edits of music videos where they just add in like. You know, I did like Gangnam style, where it's just all the sound effects instead of the music. Okay. Let's fight. Yeah, let's go. Oh, this is a lot of guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a lot of guys. Oh, fire. They drink a concoction, answers their attacks. Is this just the song that was playing, but now it's playing? Okay. Uh, fire. Uh, wait. You yeah, get I don't know. We'll figure it out. Uh, blast the guy right in front of you. This one. Oh, uh, get him, get him, get, get him. Boom! Uh, oh. Oh, that's a lot of fire. You know. I'm gonna Haze. Get him. Spin on him. Do that. Uh, Cloud can use a little heal. Oh, I was so far away. What did it say about my enemy skill material? Uh, so many things are happening. Don't have a high potion. What are you doing? Oh, oh he's still alive. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna turn off the dialogue and step the music. Not a bad idea. 
I mean, they're going for, like, a commentary thing. It's just, like, there's already 5,000 people on the map. That's too much. No air juggle with a shoot up your uppercut. You might be able to juggle him. What? They have gone to Corneo's hair. Are they Cornactoirs? Cacneos? I don't like that. Uh-oh. 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 30% of HP restored. Okay. Uh, where, where the fuck? Can I not lock onto them? Okay, there we go. They are all called Cacneos. Why are they called Cacneos? Their little swish of hair sways as they sprint around the field and dizzy their foes cannot be hit while they're running around. Instead, try to counterattack when they stop to launch attacks of their own. Ein, zwei, salva? What did they, or, uh, I, I don't know. Spine spew? No. Uh, No, no. No. Come on. Just do it again. All right. Uh, damn it. That was a waste. Where's he at? Uh, right. Charge! Woo! Uh, yeah. But, 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 that, that's fine. Fuck him up! Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? I hear him. Oh my god, he's so fast. Sir? There he is. Oh no! No 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 no. Woo! Watch out! Those Sir? Pickers are packing extra heat now. Huh? You said it. So much heat. It may kind of go on. Fuck. Let it ain't over until the fight shall come on. Come on. I'm just gonna keep doing this every which way. Woo! Shit. Uh, uh, don't be dead. Ready? All right. Watch and learn. Look at that. You ain't it. Hold on tight. Roger. Well, hey, fancy bit more. I'm just getting started. I'll be losing one of my nine lives to the likes of you! <laughs> Dr. Cactuar Tower? I get hot! That ain't Falco. <laughs> Don't count us out yet, though, because we still got three combatants ready to go. Three? <sighs> Tired? Nope. All good. And here they are! These 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm going to die. Red does have a rise. As long as he doesn't die. Oh god. Well, that was quick. No, fuck! No, leave him alone! Shit, shit. Red, get out of there. Red, get out of there. Okay. He's back. Um. Is he back? He's back! Get away, get away! Back up, back up! Barret's dead. Fuck! God damn it! Leave it to me. Uh, come back! Come back! Let's finish this. Shit! You're dead. Don't this is it. like that. Uh, no, no. Fuck! Son of a. It's the Dawnberry! No, stay away. Okay. I would love to assess them. Okay, the Dawnberry. Uh, Don Corneo purchased the Black Market immediately and nearby strand of similar switch of hair. Wait, it already looked like that? The lantern and Chef's knife and this green robed fiend approaches target with an eerily accurate chortle. If any Chef Knight's attack will pressure it, it will counterattack when hit with ranged attacks. It is less resistant to petrify. Okay. The Tom Barry's just a regular guy. If you think Chef's Knife will pressure them, they'll counterattack when he with ranged attacks. Okay. Well, shit. No. 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 Uh, oh. Oh, he is right there, isn't he? Oh, we're about to die. Uh, Barrett, please don't die. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus hey, Christ. No. Come on. He's almost dead. There we go. Whoa, what the fuck was all that? Um, wait, haste. Haste first. No, what the fuck is that? Vengeful knife. Yeah. Okay. But. The. Yes. Yes, that. Come on, there we go. Whew. <laughs> that should do it, right? Jeebus. Still got Corneo to go. Yeah, what? we're not done. And I'm low on MP. He got Abzu back. He's got a Sonic now, theme song. Who wants to be the first lucky lady? Oh, I hope she murders him in the cutscene and we don't actually have to fight him. <laughs> Alright, nope. <laughs> Here we go, we're today, folks, as the one, the only, 
Let's get him. Let yeah. Tifa kill him, man. Don't underestimate her. Time to stretch your stuff, ladies. And I want a good love. As usual, the Ace Champions are new. The stadium is borrowed, and the lows get black and blue. So let the final action begin. There. Oh, yeah, that's... I sure did walk right into that. No. Woo! These villains deceive the top Hi. It's weak to fire. While staggered, it is immune to ice. Effective as fire. Okay. A seedy undercity businessman and his precious pet, both currently on the run from Shinra. Despite the Don's wanted status, he finds himself in the center of a heavily advertised battle with director Dio to rebrand the software as Corneo Land. He's trying to run from Shinra and he's putting his name on stuff. Lascivious to the core. He is always sizing up potential brides, even in the midst of heated battle. Inflicting a fire damage will light them on fire and pressure them. When HP falls below half, they'll begin evading fire spells and Corneo will douse flames. They'll crash the wall, ferocious charge misses, pressuring them, causing Corneo to faint. Let's go. Yeah, I need ether. Oh God! Why is he flexing? He's dancing. Get him! What's he doing? What are you doing? Uh, no, I'm not gonna use Comet. It's tempting though. Uh, fire. Take the lead. Leave it. Ow. Uh, right. You also need that. Don't like that. Well, no, don't like that. Leave him alone. Ow, shit. Uh, red, red, hey red, can you help? Hey red, can you get in there? I'll help and then immediately just get stuck in there. Yeah. No, don't. Oh, roll away, Barrett, roll away. Uh. Ready to rampage. Oh, yeah. All right. Don't worry about it. It's over. Good thing I have fire for free on everybody. Oh, no. Uh, do that. Calm down. Yeah, calm down. Calm down. Heal up a little bit. Um. Don't I have a thing that's fire in here? Maybe not. Other than the wild plant. We can just blast him with this. You can blast him. Yeah. Uh, maybe. Uh, yeah. Fire, fire bolt. Oh, managed to get that. 
Nope. Roll away. <laughs> Slice him up. ATB, you're right. He sure does. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Boost. He's having fun. I knew you'd make me proud. Good boy. <laughs> Actually, no. I used to have Eat Free on one of these guys. That Bahamut's kind of got fire, doesn't he? Hmm. I should probably dodge. Oh, no. Uh. Uh, 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 uh. Um, let's do that. That's not good. What the fuck is that? I don't like that. Fuck him up. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, Barrett, don't be dead. Um. He's Alexander. You want to see Bahamut? Let's get Bahamut in here. I'm assuming that it's got counter in the name, so I figure it's probably a a thing. Oh, and he's two ATB. He's a beefy boy. All right, Bahamut. Do your thing. He's got fire adjacent blasts, right? So I've never actually summoned any of these new guys in battle. I just got them. It's a Rathalos! Get him! Uh, hey, Red. Ball take two. Okay. Get in there, buddy. Umbral Bombardment. Array of magical orbs to send a shockwave's impact and front rush. Unleash combo attack. That sounds neat. Yeah. Fuck him up. Yeah. <laughs> Look at him go. <laughs> He's so big. Uh, He's, He's fine, actually. No, don't. Uh, hey, ready to rampage. Oh, no, come on, Cloud. Uh, 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 please don't. No, no, no. Do this thing. Yeah, thanks. Uh oh. He's fine. Um. The uh, uh, array arise, Ready? rise from your grave. Heal up, Red. Bash and smash. Here he goes. Hey, Barrett. Fuck him up. We cutting them off? Yeah. Fuck them up. Get them, girls. 
Or should we rip them all? That or smash them, maybe? <laughs> Let's fill them with lead. Don't bother. I'll just bite them off. <laughs> So petty! Picking on a poor small business owner! Yeah. But hell, I can take it, and I can give as good as I get. So, all of you can, kiss my ass! Yeah. Hi ho, my sewage stallion! <laughs> <laughs> you damn right! What a way. <laughs> nice work, guys! We did it! We won! Of course we did. Eric! Da, 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 we did it. Yeah. High five. Oh. Oh, they held the high five. Hmm. This should have killed him? Yeah. They're saving that for game three. Thanks to you, my champions, the gold saucer's name shall not be profaned. For this great boon, lingering to embrace you each in turn. <laughs> yeah, we're good with just the keystone. Wait, cloud? And we'll take it now, thank you. <laughs> As you wish. But... I will not deny you what is yours by right. Behold, your prize. It's just sitting there, ready to be grabbed. Who could have seen that coming? <laughs> Seriously? You give that back right now! <laughs> no, you don't! <laughs> Come and get it! Wow. Too slow! Wow. <laughs> Quite silly. Shame on you. There's two of them and like it's eight of us. Super property. Cut the bullshit. Red. Huh? Get back what the here! What's going on? He just took off. All right, Yuffie, Nanaki, with me. The rest of you deal with them. Well, let's get a move on. <laughs> it's time to get some payback for the mine. <laughs> Curse your sudden but inevitable betrayal. Then, over which I must insist you allow me to officiate. I feel like Kate's playing the Turks, not us. Guess we'll see. To ensure a fair and entertaining <laughs> bout. We'll give you a chance to rest before the festivities. Once you're ready, you need but say the word. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's funny. That's very funny. Oh, I gotta go shopping. Ooh, hi Ether. Yeah, I'll buy some of those. Fixed out, sure. Alright. Give me some of those. <laughs> Thank you for letting me rest between all those fights. Um, that's nice, but... Oh, actually, this is good for Aerith. Do I have one to spare? Alright, Talisman. Uh... The... Uh, hold on. Yeah, hold on. Um, uh, Aerith. She's got a crocodile bracelet. Uh, I have a Hades armlet. All my Varvadoses are being used. I mean, it's only a little bit, but I'll take every number we got. Oops. 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 Eh. Barvados. In hard mode, Rebirth has no items, so they feel like resting in this very specific situation is not necessary. I mean, if they just healed you up 30% like they do between every round, 
The bigger problem for me would be if you die, if you go all the way back or if it checkpoints you at that fight. I feel like it would probably checkpoint you at the fight. Still, especially given it's like, oh, maybe I don't have any material on Tifa and Aerith. Like, this is nice. It's just... It is objectively silly. Uh... Give her... What? A witch's armlet. Yeah, I must have gotten a bunch of stuff. Um, Bravados. And then she has... Um... What do I want to give her there? I could steal something from someone. Maybe MP up? I could steal an MP up from somebody. Like Barrett. You don't do that. Okay. Oh, you got this. Then break damage up. Max MP up. Say for the turn of battle. Max MP. Increase damage added to attacks by elemental material. Yeah, I don't have any of those. I wish I did, but I'm lazy, slash, etc. Um. Do that. Let me break damage. Okay. I could also steal a, a healing to give to her. Because Chakra only heals her, right? I don't remember if you can use it on her. Maybe you can use it on someone else. Yeah, it'll be fine. Benches still give health, plus it gives a retrap point. We can still fix yourself together. Yeah, because if you made it to this point, it's nice to have a checkpoint to be like, if you die, you can come back here and reset up your materia and stuff. So, alright. Chakra self only. So. This is a weird setup because only Cloud can heal everyone. I mean, well, I mean, he can specific, but I have items too. So, not super worried about it. I'm kind of used to the, the summon fights don't let you use items, so I'm kind of in a mindset of like, I have to use MP to heal, but I have items. Wait, we can just... Hi. You think you could hurry it up? Sorry. How you doing? You should have run. Where's your buddy? We'll make it quick. I forgot his name. The guy with the red hair. Just let me kick your ass already. He said he was on vacation, but like, where? Actually, where is he? Nice chain, dude. Axel. Reno. Yeah, Reno. Axel. You should have run. How's Reno doing? Is he good? Dude, he's on holiday. Hitman is my favorite FF character. Oh, really, Rocky? I didn't... Oh, that's sad. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, Reno's very silly. He hurt him recovering realistically. I mean... They said he was more part three. I mean, also gives Alina more time in the spotlight. Compared to the original, where she's just like the third Turk. You guys want to talk about you guys? Good? All right. Axel's just running. Are you ready to duke it out? Let's duke it. Let's duke it. Fantastic. Then without further ado. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody brings the hype like us. Scotch and cut. Make some noise. What's Koch? Ladies and gentlemen, keep your eyes on the arena! Cause ready or not, it's time to rumble! Rumble round! He's not in the original game that much too, but... Alright. Thank you, Koch. Why is he just... What's he doing? Why is he doing? Scotch made in Kentucky is Scotch. An opera of a Turk. He first uses bare fist, fizzle prowess to pursue his enemies, hitting with multiple powerful offensive abilities. With the whether this guard is up, will pressure him. Interrupting his synergy strikes will pressure him. He's weak to wind, and he's weak to lightning. Playing power fights only interrupt her. She's in, while she's in rogue stance, striking her with two abilities will pressure her. She and Rude have forced their way into the fight for naming rights in order to steal the keystone. He's got a lot of things. He's got a lot of things. He has a phoenix down? He has a phoenix, so kill Root first. Alright. Now. Now. Meh. Now. 
I should use Teeth for the beat him up, because then he'll be sad about it. Uh, haste. Ah, ah, shit. Ah, shit. This, ah, shit. This is going great. So are you saying you can clean up in today's Right. He won't make it easy for my champions. But formidable as it is, we still have the numbers. It's going to come down to whether or not we can press that advantage. You mark my words. Well, let's see. Fuck. I'll show you what I can do. Uh. No, stop it. Yeah. Yeah. Stop it. I just want to pray. Thank you. Wait, she learned grenade kick as like a skill? That's funny. Stop. Stop it. Okay, fine. Maybe we'll go up to Elena first. Jesus Christ. Yeah. It's on you. So it's my turn. Uh. That's fine. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me this. No. What the hell, dude? Fruit. Bro, chill. This isn't about you. God damn it. Mm. A rhythm mini game in here? That could be fun. Stop. God damn it. Mm. God, son of a... She's just you spinning her fist. Come on. And it connected. Mm. Mm. Shit. God damn it. These two are so much. Actually, do that. If I can take out one of them. The problem is that we just use this Phoenix down immediately on her. Granted, it's not an Arise, it's just a Phoenix down. Uh, a unique steal? I mean, it would show here. Oh, you can steal Mega Potions from Root. It's not worth it. Um, uh, Unlimited MP might be nice. Or increased potency and extend Stagger. She's close to Stagger. Let's... There we go. Yeah, fuck her up. Blaster. Blaster with things. Uh, yeah, do that. You do. Oh yes, that's good timing. And uh, blaster. What? 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 No fair. Back off. Well done. That was nothing. I'm mad I wasn't allowed to kill her. 
That's a lot of things. That's a lot of things, y'all. Turk two step. Fuck her up. Bro. What the hell? Um, yeah. Did I not heal Tifa? I thought I healed Tifa. Stop kicking her! You rude, rude man. You're so rude. Uh, what was that? I'm supposed to hit uh, two powerful abilities. Done. I would love to do that. Focus strike. Is this? I don't know if this is, counts as. Oh yeah, you. Focus thrust. Everyone fuck her up. No. Stop your bullshit. I have a murder to do first. Uh, fuck. Please get her. Uh, no, I'm gonna. Well, God. There we go. Mm -hmm. He kicked Come on. Just a little more. He keeps going for the kick. Ow. Okay, fine. Uh... Come on. Get pressured, nerd. Ow. Spinning axe kick. There he is. Wait. No, wait, back away. Mm -hmm. She's playing Blitzball in there. Yep, there it is. Oh. She's fucking back! Here goes. Come on. Sorry about that. Get him. Someone looks kind of shaky. Uh, blast her again. Get no shit. Okay, maybe I should. Cause his stalwart is the same thing, right? It no, it's a separate thing. Or I can't break him out of that. Okay, just ma'am. Why are you running? Why are you running? Fuck her up! Damn it. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it. Yeah. 
What? <gasps> so much happening. Come on. No, 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 no. Uh, yeah, well. Sure. All right. Fine. Punch her to death. There you go. I'm just going to use her limit. Yeah, Dolphin Flurry. That sounds neat. It's a lot of spinning. Oh my god, punched him in the nards. Now, now, now. You can do it. My now I could do a summon, but I don't think we need to. Could just no. I don't think we need to. Yeah. Come on! He's got a pixel left! No, no, just be dead instead of that. Ow, you jerk. I'll take care of them. Here. Yeah, magic missile. Magic missile. Magic missile. There he is. We right in the boiling. We're just getting warmed up. Right, Rude? Yeah. This fight's far from over. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Esteemed spectators, if you would be so kind as to direct your attention to the center of the ring. To ensure a fitting climax for this spectacle, we've invited a special guest. Now, let's give a round of applause for... Hell, hell, so good. No. The Still a Shinra employee, at least on paper. <laughs> and as your boss, I figured I'd dispose of you first. Was that meant to be a joke? <sighs> you two go. Wait and sign. <laughs> Got my number this time? Oh, uh -huh. bye. Let's see, shall we? Always got a counter. Oh no. Come on. Meet Kamui. My new gift to myself. Scary. Stop it. Oh, please. Don't Let's do this. Cool, he slowed me down. Can I have an ATV, please? I think my can I just not hit him without him countering? Maybe I just gotta parry him? Ooh. What? Uh, yeah, I know half my HP is gone. New president of Shinra, he has rejected his father's unscrupulous methods and never established a new world order. He enters the rings, means yeah, yeah, yeah. He's trying to find the promised land. Strike him while he's reloading or landing an ATB command after he attacks. We'll pressure him. I have to wait for him to ocelot reload. Hitting him with certain attacks while he's reloading or after he attacks will stagger him instantly. 
Remember this fight from Remake? I mean, I remember fighting him. I don't remember how it worked exactly. Didn't he flip up a coin and shoot it and stuff? Sun Attack is Braver. Okay. So hit him with Braver after he reloads. Or while he's reloading. Dodging him when he's reloaded with his head. Uh, okay. <laughs> God damn it. Now I need to build up ATB to heal. <laughs> Which might not happen. Might, might, might be dead. No, no, didn't, I didn't want to do that. I was blocking! <laughs> the smoke made me stop blocking! Okay, alright. I'm back. No. Okay, so it has to be braver. Even though he's pressured. Cool. Uh, oh, don't like that. The I'm gonna eat another potion. I would just like to be at a decent spot health-wise. Hey, spicy. How you doing? Thanks for the raid. We're playing FF7 Rebirth and having a great time. Do it. I'm fighting the spicy boss. Mother. No, he can't. Okay, so, yeah. Obviously, I was late on that, but I wanted to make sure I understood. Yo, I'm so far away. Damn it. No, 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 no. Focus thrust is better. People said brave. Can it be anything? E. E. Braver instantly staggers. Gotcha. The focus thrust would build up his stagger. Because Braver just has such a long wind up. Ain't dead yet. Not yet. Ow. Thanks. Just trying to build up ATV. Uh, is it worth it to cast haste? This seems like an idea. Just help me build up. No, I don't. I'm not trying to do that. I'm just gonna. Spiky spin? No, come on, Cloud. Don't do that. Okay, no. Fuck. It's like at the end of that combo, he just. Alright, what are you. Come on. No. No. Thanks. Damn it. You have to be in the braver before he reloads. That's what's nuts about it. Oh, shit. The window's too short. Yeah, I'm gonna try something else. Can you sleep on him? He's immune to, like, everything. Um, up and smoke is bad. Okay. Run away. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah. Ain't dead yet. Woo! Pardon me, sir. Also, my haste already wore off, so... 
might not be worth it. No! Fuck, I keep doing that. It's just the end of the combo. Fuck. So I focused on triangle. I'll take around. No. Because it also says landing a command after he attacks. So it doesn't have to be during reload. Reload seems like it's almost down, down to dumb luck. But I should just try to hit him with an ATP after he does the thing. Well, that was neat. You'll like No! <laughs> I went for the braver. Son of a... No. No. I mean, I'm glad I did the summons, because this is kind of like a summon fight, where it's almost more of a puzzle than a normal fight. It's cloud! I swear to fuck, stop rushing at him. I've just tried to do distance. Oh, I hit block a little late there. Shit. Well, I might just be dead now. Come on. Cloud's found a second win, and he might still have a shot. He looks at a certain number of moves. Yeah, I should probably try to count how many he does. It's more about the timing specifically. I guess dumb luck isn't the right way to put it, but it just... You have to kind of... No, I, I didn't want to do that. I just have to constantly interrupt the the range arrow. Because, yeah, you just... Now, I want to heal first. Yeah, that's gonna. Yeah. Tasty Giga Potion. Is that Sephiroth? Sure. Alright, maybe I'll do a hit on him. Come on, come on, there we go. You're as good as dead. Cocky as hell. Woo! No! God damn it! Shit! This didn't need to be harder, guys. Don't you think you can't bite the hand that feeds? Fuck! And yet here you are. Shit! Really though, best it's right. How's what the dog doing? Dark star. Bark bark. Also, ATB. I do have an ATB boost. MLJ K9 is serving as Rufus's personal guard dog, one of breed, especially in the Ants, R&D division. It follows his master orders without hesitation to playing impressive coordination. Inflict enough damage or severing its link with Rufus will pressure it. I don't know how to sever its link. It's not weak to anything. Just, I guess I can use elements on it. I guess I can use elements on Rufus, too. He's just not while he's staggered. All right. I might muzzle you. Good luck. Yeah. No, no. Don't let it hit me. Don't let it hit me. No. Back. God damn it. Uh, I need two for vomit. Might be good just to have something else. Steal some aggro. Subdue! What the dog do? You're up, men. I summon you. 
And now to heal again, because Jesus. No. Yeah. No. Oh. I'm just gonna heal. Actually. Mix doesn't really. Wish I had something better than that. I'm just gonna focus on healing. Oh, what is all that? No, no, god damn it, Rufus! Uh, on Dark Star. Near. No. Who? If any sense really strong to ATB for it. Thank you. Okay. He's just a puffer. I know. I don't want. Blame the game dev for always putting dogs in games as enemies. He's just standing there. He was just standing there. Never mind. Not bad, Mr. President. Okay. <laughs> should never be a soldier. He was like, ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Enough of this farce. Just have Bahamut arisen. It's just that easy. Well, we got him first try. So, are we gonna go after him? Not yet. Just first, took a long time to phase one. Sith, right? Right. <laughs> that was a lot of fights back to back. I thought I'd seen it all, but this is the mother of all twists. Look out, ladies and gentlemen. Both teams are disqualified. I don't think anyone could have predicted this. I don't think we're disqualified. I think we won. <laughs> Should we look for the others? Took me too? twice. It, uh, you had to help. Okay. Yeah, it was a weird fight. Again, I'm glad I did some of the summon stuff first. Find Kate's it. Cut to back here, you monkey. Nice one. Is spectating not enough? I'm gonna have a Wanna sip. Wanna step first. inside the ring? Head to our entrance counter to learn more. Kate Burglar. You get the back here, you monkey. Is not enough? Bop, 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 yeah, that, but it's Kate Sith. The others have the outside cover. Let's search in here. Where could he be? Oh. Yeah. He didn't make it very far, did Is he behind the pillar? Is he just standing behind the pillar? Where'd he go? What if he was just standing here? There he goes. Is he... God damn it, dude. I can see you, you know. Yeah, we hung out with Red already. Hey! Eric, stop him! I hate to do this! Crap! I don't think you do. We can't let him get away. Let's stand here instead. What are we gonna do? Him with the chair! Oh, I wish he was skating down it, Shadow the Hedgehog style. Get him! It's just Cowboy Bebop music. We should probably be running, huh? Yeah, it's probably fine. Look at his hair. Get to that goddamn cat! Somebody stop for that cat! Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Did you see him? He could be anywhere. 
Maybe went to the engine. The exit entrance place. Did you see a cat go this way? Did you see a cat? No. Is he in the fountain? Cats love water. That's not water. Welcome to the gold saucer. Did he go this way? I searched high and low, but no cheat. Thank you, you. Get the back of here! He could be anywhere. Maybe even hiding in plain sight. Is it? Is he? Where could he be? Check up above. Is Vincent up the stairs? Is he? Oh, he is. He's helping. No sign of a cat. Thanks, Vincent. Is he hiding in the same place? Oh. They go over here. Good to see you still in one piece. Wish I could tell you I found that damn cat, buddy. He's good. That's kind of cute how they show him going that way. To kind of lure you over there. Who's on these stairs? Hey. Oh. Looking for the Robo Cat? Well, he ain't come through. I don't believe you, Sid. I believe you were asleep the whole time. Yep, you got me. Anyway, eh, about time I got some shut eye, don't you? Alright. Hey! You're the one that stole the keystone! Cats, am I right? Ah. Hold on. Can I... Sorry, I didn't... I didn't... I just wanted to... Sorry. I just saw there's... Sorry. Sorry. He looks really good with the <laughs> No. The illusion, my immersion. Stop with that cat. I have to kick every fist. No, I was gonna knock over those boxes. Yeah, look out physics, I'm coming through. Bow. Yeah, bam. Bow. Hold on. Wait, hold on. I found a new weapon. A crystalline cross. For you feet. For you feet. Wow. Wow, that's a lot of material slots. Whoa, look at that. A throwing star with the four sharp gem hewn blades. A to be stent on other commands increases damage dealt. Affinity changes with ninjutsu can be used while airborne. Shares gauge with purification. Max level three. What's purification? Is that a thing I should know? It's probably a thing I should know. Uh, give me that. Applies bravery effect after a successfully stealing. This one. And... Hmm. Magic that up. It's fine. No just adding more and more physics objects, the more they do. <laughs> Add more boxes to run through. You see a cat run this way? Small guy wearing a crown, holding an orb. Yeah, nah. Yeah, I know, I just wanted to kick over boxes. Got it. Be safe. 
you two. Traitor. Never trust a cat wearing a tiny cape and a crown. A little bit awkward that they left them behind. Cat. It's the... not how it looks? What was I thinking? Trusting you. The company man with a heart of gold. Huh. What a joke. Barrett, no! Please! Screw it. Piece of shit ain't worth the bullets anyway. Sid was in the back like, what are we talking about? I don't understand. Why? Because he's an asshole! One we should have never trusted in the first place! Don't. He deserves it. Not you too. He has no morals like a dolphin. <laughs> Knew from the start it had to end this way, but it still stings. For a moment there, it felt like we were friends. Kate says equipment was returned to you. I was gonna say, can I have the material back? I am so pissed at Kate right now. Probably laughing at us from his new office. How are you not mad? He played us for fools from the start. <sighs> Just thinking about it makes me want to beat the crap out of him. Hey, are you okay? I'll be fine. Just thought I was a better judge of character. Forget him. So what's the plan then? We are not just gonna let him take the black materia, right? We're gonna go after him, right? And how are we supposed to do that without any lead? He's got a point. The only one who knows where the temple is, is Kid Seth. <sighs> but he told the Turks, whose chopper I should be able to track. Really? I know which radio frequencies they use. The moment they get on comms, I'll find them. As long as they haven't well changed now, their radio the gal's got a transmitter. Ha. Signal. In then we're in years. business. All right. I'll run on ahead and get her warmed up for you. Later. I wish there was a it's awkward settled, reunion Nick. with Vincent and the Turks. We follow Shinra to the temple. And the black materia will be ours. He's not a vampire, but he knows technology. Well, he doesn't really know technology. Considering when... Huh. Hi. Incoming transmission from KG. Oh. One moment. Hey, hey. This is awkward. It's your huh. old goblin pal, Kid G. You didn't forget about me, did you? Sorry for the wait. The next trial is ready and waiting for challengers. If you're still interested in collecting all those treasure pieces, then head on over to the third reactor. Hope to see you again soon. Another trial and our treasure await. Yeah. When we're talking about Digimon. Man, I would love if anyone watching has been playing the game but didn't do the Proto Relic missions. Because I'm assuming he doesn't call you if you hadn't done the Proto Relic missions. They're like, what the fuck was that? That's a thing in the video game? Everyone likes it. Well, Yuffie's kind of. Yeah. Kid G is a literal internet troll. He sure is. Vincent isn't about it. He's just very goth. Yeah. No, when we first met him, he was like, um, let's swipe your card. Wait, it's not on. In case that that turn on for him. Maybe I should play this game. <laughs> this first chapter could do the rest of that proto box. It's sure of the stream. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. If, if hopping on the airship is what uh, progresses the game. Greetings, sir. Do you wish to depart the gold saucer? Who the fuck was the goblin? <laughs> That's from the proto- so every region has a proto-relic quest, which is connected to Gilgamesh, I guess, and presumably if you get them all, then you get to fight them or something. Some kind of post-game secret boss fight. Um, leave the sauce in your buggy. Nah. Um, and when you first come to the Corral region, you can only do two of the four. And he's like, I'll call you later. 
and I guess they wait for this chapter for you to be able to do the rest. There's a progress to the point of no return to the when there is. Okay, that's good. Yeah, because um, we have a couple options because we still have uh, several hours until I have to bail. But I don't know if we should start the next chapter. It seems like once we start it, we're going to be in a little bit of go mode. So, several equals five. Well, several equals like two-ish hours, maybe a little less than two hours. Yeah, so we can save next chapter. Probably we'll do next chapter tomorrow and then probably finish the game Sunday is the way it's shaking out. So, not past, no, we're not going to pass the point of return yet. So we could either, I mean, I said I was like, I don't really care about Proto Relic stuff, but maybe we could do some of that. Um, or, uh, I don't know. Side questioning again. Just kind of chill a little bit. Five is the minimum for several. There's a few. This helicopter is bound for Costa del Sol. Will you be boarding? Well, that's kind of nice. More than a few, less than many. If there's something that people are like, this shit is really good, let me know. Once you start the next chapter, it's final. We do a little bit of Queen's Blood, see some of the ridiculousness. I don't think I'm gonna on stream. Just because it's gonna take a while for me to get through them. Do a Queen's Blood. I'm bad at it. There's a specific person to play progress that shows a bit of ridiculousness. If there's one person I can say hi to, then maybe I can do that, but I don't want to just sit here doing Queen's Blood. This quest in calm. Several's more distinct and detailed. <laughs> we are debating the meaning of words. Um, uh, I don't know if I want to do the Proto Relics, though. Because if I do this one, then I'm going to want to do the Gungaga one, and I don't know if I want to do that or not. I don't know if I care. Yeah, I had to run through here. This is just like a whole goddamn maze. And all this. Ran around a little bit. You go to the temple from here for the final part. So we're going from here to the temple. Once we're able to track the Turks, which I guess is as soon as we get back to Sid, presumably. Um, and then... Uh... Yeah, so we'll get there. Then they'll take us. So if it's if it's following the plot of the original from here, then yes, we'll go to the temple. There was a very big dungeon in the original, so I'd expect it to take a while to get through. And then from there, the next main point is the city of the ancients. There's the temple of the ancients, and there's the city of the ancients, and that's where the game's supposed to end. And I imagine all utmost shenanigans from that point on. So, um, I imagine both of those are going to take some bit of time to do. Check out Battle Square. That's also true. There's a bunch of... We could do chocobo racing. There's tons of stuff here we haven't done. So I'm kind of... I'm kind of open to suggestions, because... I think I'm just going to hang out for a bit. Thanks for hydrate. Other right, Coastal Sword Golden Saucer has more Queen's Blood puzzles that have party character cards. Oh, so you can get cards for, like, here's Cloud's card, here's Barrett's card. That's kind of neat. Can we do Mahjong? <laughs> And the chocobo ram penguin. Holy hell! Six years. Enjoy your ice key. Thank you so much. Battle three more opponents. Me, me, me. saying it's ridiculous, and I do like me ridiculous, which is why we're here. Um, I can't just warp. I gotta talk to a thing, to warp to a thing. So. We can also do the pirate quest if that's good. If it's whatever. I have that many of hours to play. I should just calm again. There's a lot of optional stuff we've been skipping. People are saying that the Queen's Blood is nuts. I'm just... I'm not great at it. So I feel like I want to be able to... Oh. I mean, I don't mind if chat's just like, play these cards, do that there, but... Mm. There's any side quest in town. I'm down. Welcome, sir. We've been waiting for you. Hello. Hop on a truck. Compete with other jockeys. So you can cross the finish line first. You can find yourself in the back of the pack. Change your birds' attributes and skills by equipping with the appropriate gear. Each race is different. Yeah. Hey. First time Maiden Race wins for promotion. So we're in the Maiden rank. I'm gonna do exactly one race. Oh my god, oh my, oh my god, oh my god, they really did. 
They put a lot in here. They can win a potion. Boost your speed by stepping on the dash panels. Where's my boy? Races one went well. Pico won me the first one. I believe in Pico. Let's go. Compete. <coughs> oh, the QB bot. No, I think it would take too long. Now for the first beat would be a good teaser. Gotcha. For people that want to do it themselves when they get the game, or just look up some YouTube video that already exists that just shows it all. That's when slow choke. Now nah, I got it. It's gonna be good. It's a lot. There's a little second list of tracks. They just take five minutes a piece. Jesus. I forgot what the... It's A to go. Not R to... Off to a good start. This is going real good so far. Zoom! There we go. Whoa, who the hell's up there? Hey! Hey, you! Slow down! Is that Joe? Get back of here, you! Uh oh. No, oh, I fucked that up. Hey, kid! Shit. Hey, how you doing? Nice race for having. Whoops, whoops. Hey, how you doing? Oh, sorry. I felt rude. So maybe after this we swing by calm? Or 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 is chat really Team Queen's Blood? He's on my butt! This thing of a rear view mirror. The root's not here right now. God, what a series of events that was. It's a lot of fights. Could do a pull. True. Yeah, shit. We have all the chapters <laughs> for me to go. Oh, yeah, I have to do a shorter stream today. It seems like it was the shortest chapter in the game. Like, literally. Just a ton of fights. Back to back. But we had a fun time with the... Uh, the play. Hanging out with Red. Great work, Pico. Yay. One of 50 races done. That was a We're ton of side quests, which we aren't doing. Next race. <laughs> also that. Ah, ah. And saying bye-bye. <laughs> bye-bye. The play was insane. It's very silly in the original. I recommend looking it up. This was obviously much more insane. Um, Where would I go to fight someone in Queen's Blood? Just like back to calm and do some of the guys in the first town? There's people back here, right? yeah. All these, do these three, fight easy people. Can do. There's so many games. This game's got so many games. So said if I do three more, then I level up, and then that'll show some shenanigans. Welcome. And then from there, I can be like, I'm good. Are we finally gonna beat up Crybaby Ned? <laughs> A little huh. Just so you know, Nick. Yeah. All right. Shout out to the Queen's Blood matches people did thousands of hours ago. And check the nose board. Yeah, I only did the one quest for red, but now we're past that point, so we can do whatever. For anybody. These are good. You need to fight this person to rank, and then you go to fight that person. Gotcha. Bum, 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 bum. Do I remember how Queen's Blood works? Yeah. I do like Queen's Blood. A lot of the triple triad-esque games 
are like tougher for me to get into. Or I'm just like, I get it, but all right. But no, I definitely can understand someone who's like, I picked up the game and then oops, all I did was Queen's Blood. I'm like, no, I get it. Um, maybe here. Fight the robe in Nibelheim? What's that? Wait, oops. Uh, wait, oops. Uh, oops. Uh, oops. Uh oh. I goofed up a bit. Now this is good. This is good because now I can. Th oh. Now I can. Now I could. That. Oh. Uh. Who wants to play Queen's Blood? What was he? Oh, this is good. Oh, I like that. That guy's tough. Oh, the guy in the... Oh, right, right, right. I remember now. Um, I don't win yet. I was like, can I... Should I just throw it? No, not yet. Probably should have hearts dragged him. Don't matter. He's going to put some shit down the bottom row, and that's fine. And by that's fine, I mean oops. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have just let him do that. Uh... No, I think this is still okay, because we're tying in the middle. So as long as that doesn't change, everything's fine. I'm not losing to a child. Uh-oh. I'm losing to a child. Um... This is bad, actually. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I goofed it up real bad. Those, uh... Yeah, this is still bad. I'm absolutely losing this child. I sure am. I'm gonna do this. No, I'm not gonna restart. Check this out. I pass. And now we win. Unless... Oh, no! Four? Where did you... Four? Shit. If she didn't have a good card, I would have won. <laughs> If it, it, like, literally any card that was, like, only a couple points, I would've won. Point back in. Point back. I would've won if I hadn't lost. I mean, yes, but... That's not the point. That's not hubris. That's more just like... Well, I guess it's hubris. Uh, throw you away. Right. There's a Vincent... So Tell me, where do I go for that? Yes, I would like to Vincent. Show me where. Tell me where to go. A little hubris as a treat. As a treat. I would love to say out of Vincent. Bum, bum, bum. Gotta start chapter 13. Dang it! It's just fights for gameplay content. Well, everything's just gameplay content. But, um... Yeah. Yeah, fuck you. Yeah, fuck you. Blocking out the entire middle row. What are you gonna do about it? Oh. But then I can this, or I could this. But then they still have the bot. I think it's more important to meh. Spoilers. <laughs> Jeez. All right. Yeah. What if I that though? Boom. Yeah. Give me the babies. What are you gonna do now? What are you gonna do now? Are you gonna cry about it? Um, um, I could, yeah. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You gonna go cry? You gonna go cry? Oh. Okay, now we've won, but I just want to make the child cry. I just want to make the kid cry a little. Yeah, this is disrespectful. I didn't need to do that, but now I've become the bully. Um, there you go. And put, put that there. There you go. And, uh, ooh, I could enhance a card. Yeah, that's fun. There you go. Listen to that, Jazzy Jazz. Stop! There you go, stop. I want to make the child cry. <laughs> I want to take the side quest thing that I'm doing and make it take even longer. Alright, I think I won. I believe I have won. 
by a mere scant few points. I just barely eked out a win. I just, I listen. The first time I lost was a fluke. I'm just making that clear to Ooh, her. this guy packs one hell of a punch. But hey, you can't win them all. Is but this Gwent? What really matters is you were brave enough to take on a bona fide card shark like Pretty Boy here. If you Sometimes start chapter 13 on Lost Side Quest. If you're serious about upping your game. Listen, huh. kid, you got what it takes to be a champ. I'd bet my bottom gill on it. Now, why don't you show Bloody your appreciation for being such a good sport? Thank you for playing cards with me, mister. You're welcome. Um, if that's the case, then if we have time, then we may... Hey, Dad, have you we may start chapter 13. <laughs> oh, no, you're back. I don't want to lose, but... Oh, I do want to play. Get murdered, Ned. I probably have better cards I could swap in, but this is a deck I know. And I don't think we're fighting dudes that are that hard. I mean, I say that, but... Who knows what might happen within the world of Queen's blood? Make him cry more. Make him cry more. Oh, a wolf! Good move, Ned. No, I've never played Magic. I like the art on the cards. I think it's neat. I know you, you gotta tap your mana and such, but yeah, I don't really know much about it. Hmm. This isn't great. This isn't great. This isn't ideal. This isn't ideal. Hmm. I really do like to keep doing the same exact move of putting a J unit there and then I don't have any way to defend middle lane. But, uh, yeah, it's probably fine. He went to the Grand Canyon. Was it big? Was it grand? Oh, you absolute fool! Yeah. Actually, no, he can probably take that back on the top mid. Yeah, oh. Or, or not, or that's a play too. Um, which I can't do anything about because I have all of these Grand Horns at a really inopportune time. Um, yeah, all right. Let's see if I can... Yeah. I don't care for that, Tom. Thank you. Um, yeah, you know what? Take the top lane. I don't need it, Ned. I don't need it, Ned. Take it. Enjoy it. May it find you in good health. Oh, that was that was a smart play, actually. Oops. Um, uh, could do that. What are you gonna do? Murder my cards from the inside? No. You won't. You can't. Um. Yeah, I think we're fine. There's no way he can destroy my 69 points. Why'd I hit him top lane? Because I still win. Because he focused everything on top lane. To what end? I still won. That's like playing an objective-based multiplayer game and being like, look, I might look at my KD. I got I have all the kills. And we're like, yeah, and we pushed the cart to the point and we won. You gotta play the game. I got a crab from him though. Thanks for the crab. Oh god, I lost. But uh, I feel a lot better after having a good cry. There's nothing like a game of Queen's Blood to relieve some stress. One of the quests in common is my jam. Of you look like you've got a lot weighing you down, too. It's written all over your face. Trust me, crying does wonders. You really ought to try it. There you go. Thank you, Ned. You've taught me about myself. Shit. You know my bridge is busted. It's been making what awful noises all day. Do something. That's not my quest. Oh, where's the other guy? Down that way. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Well, while I'm here... I feel fantastic. Lifeline in peril, the Mako Papa, the Mako Leak, we're in desperate need of a technician, some with a modicum of skill to perform emergency repairs. Brood, a good friend of mine's in need of assistance with a repair job, but with my health troubles, I fear I do more harm than good. If you're willing to lend her a hand in my stead, come see me at the inn and quickly, please. 
Bex Business wants you. We are currently recruiting respectable businessmen and women eager to engage in respectable business activities. Salary is commiserate on performance. We offer com commissary compensation. Work hard and you'll make bank. Drop by our recruitment center and submit your application today. Now, none of these are especially jumping on me. Burns already turned into a Rob guy. Maybe. If one of those is the quest, do you think I should do? No, Broden's fine. <laughs> what a glorious wall, keeping us safe and secure. I could gaze at it all day. Checking on the back guy. Barrett! 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 Ma'am, I'm sorry. I would like to apologize to my friend here. Hi. Excuse me. That was my barricade you just destroyed. That's my barricade that just Come got in there. Bailey. It is something. Or maybe you're here to get your ass handed to you in a QB match. You're gonna see in this quest. No, Broden showed up. I'm Zahira. A pleasure. Wait, that's Broden. Just like Calm's wall. I Wait, yeah. No one. I was like, yeah, yeah, Broden. Yeah, no. We saw Broden. <laughs> Don't presume you'll emerge unscathed Broden was the if you decide to go up against me. Oh, because no. Because you will. Why? Wait, what? Now what happens if you say hi to Broden? Is he... Hmm. I'm sure that's fine. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure he's okay. She's gonna avenge your wall. Yeah, bu building a new wall. Uh, eh. And... Meh. Great. Oh, meh. These are weird cards. Uh... Oh, you went. God damn it! <laughs> this is a really, really bad. I'm just. I might just re-roll this. This is a rough fucking hit. This is like all of my most situational cards being drawn at the top. Uh, great, good, great googly moogly. Um. Hmm. Yeah, that works. I just had this desire to wear a black robe, but I'm fine. I have a quest for you in the starting village. Hello. Um. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, there you go. Ba -da -ba. Well, that is a very good card. Um. But you know what, what's better than that card is this one? Yeah, that's kind of nice. No, he's just gonna, yeah. No, that's pretty, that's that's a smart play right there. Um, could that, or I could this, no. I could this, and just go back and forth forever. Oh, that's kind of nice. That kind of halts his, his march a little bit. Now, as long as I lock down mid... Uh oh No. Uh no. -oh. Uh -oh. Am I getting... Am I... Did I just play myself? Hmm. 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 Methinks we must. I might have... I might have goofed up myself real bad here. Yep. Ah, shit. Wait! To the risk! Oh. I, I do believe I goofed up something fierce. Or didn't I? Or didn't I? This does tie us. There is hope yet. Unless he can give himself more points in middle, we might still have this. Wait. He has given himself more points middle. Good news! We've lost! It's kind of uncanny how every time I'm playing Queen's going like, well, as long as he can't do this one very specific thing. And they're like, bam, I played that thing. I'm like, cool. Pleasure, pleasure playing cards against me, sir. There you go. Yeah, she also has a better KD. Yeah. All right, yeah. I, know. I wish I could just button mash through this part and be like, I don't care. Restart. Never secure the top. No, I wasn't trying to secure the top. Um... Yeah, no, 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 no. Right. yeah, over the mic. Yeah. Um, I don't think I want to mess with this. Oh, I have to have a frog card. No, I I don't want to get lost in these weeds. 
and just be like, oh, look at that. I've just been buying cards every time there's an option to. So I have a bunch of shit. That's probably good, but... It's a start. We're in calm. I don't have to... It's fine. Just gotta use my brain. Um, no. And no. Yes. Perfect. Now that's a starting hand. You only do this in one more fight. I don't think you need to tweak your deck. I don't think so either. I think we're fine. I think everything's fine. Um. Keep pushing top. Keep pushing top. Oh, four, huh? All right. Um. It feels like an interesting move, but. Hmm. Now, what's the play here? I could. I could. Feels like. Probably this. No, because he's just going to steal both of those back immediately. This gives me some room on the bottom. You think Bob? Delvin's such an odd card. Yeah, it, he's just big. No abilities. He's just a big boy. Mm. It feels like I should push here. Because then... I'm going to try it. It made sense in my brain. Which was probably a bad idea. No, that's fine. Because now... Um, because now... Because now... Because now... Now that I can... Hmm. No, I didn't think this through. Uh... Hmm. Because I could, I could, like, enforce this guy and then drop a Moo here. But... If, for instance... Hmm. Hmm. He's just gonna steal that part. Boy, I wish I got... Well, right, there is that. Wait, no, that's the, that's very clearly the play. What are you gonna do? Grab a thing diagonally? No, that's fine. Um, But now I could commit a murder. I could commit a murder. Most foul. Alternatively... Grab both of these. That's better. That's better. I'm only raised by one? Got a better card in that slot by now. Probably. Almost assuredly. Yes. Alright, good. We have won. Turned it around. Imagine losing the Sahira. How embarrassing. Screamer? He just does the square. Impossible. How could someone break through my perfect defense? Who are you? Who are you guys? Huh? I knew I, I can't stay hear you over the victory fanfare for how thoroughly I whooped keep people you. Safe. But even the sturdiest ones eventually crumble. Right. Starting today, you will be my new wall, as it were. Uh -huh. And I am going to enjoy watching you crumble. What? Okay. Yeah. Congratulations, Cloud. You have attained the rank of Blood Squire. As such, I have information that may be of interest. I don't like A talented Sun. player by the name of Cameron is looking for opponents within the Crow's Nest. I believe that you would find him to be a suitable challenge. Perhaps you ought to seek him out. I will be your wall. He's over. Man. Nice boxes. I'm skilled not only in defense, but in offensive strategies as well. Where'd that barrel come from? Challenging me would have been like banging your head against the wall. Yeah, I hear you. Alright. Uh, let's go. You know, you've attained the rank of Blood Squire. Uh, th thank you. So that's the town that's over. Um. Uh, 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 but, um, where the hell, where the hell, is that in Junon? Was that this town? Was that this? Is that this? I think it's this. There he is. I remember the thing. Where we escorted Sam into. Bow, wow, wow. Bow, wow, wow. Crows against Shinra welcomes all those who Alright. Level four, huh? We're gonna reclaim these Pardon. waters and make them beautiful. 
I'm a oh, this one guy. Wait, fella. that's Neil. I don't care. If you want to First really Cameron. I have a friend in Avalanche. First Cameron. It's down that way to the left. Well, I don't want a war. I don't think I met Cameron before. We've been dreaming of. Hear me. We hear you. Listen up. We're listening. Everyone gather around. We're gathered. Ooh. Oh boy, tourmalines. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Finally. Someone who's worth a damn. Hold that thought. I'm There's Cameron, a treasure chest. Queen's blood champion. And I roam the world in search of proper sport. I've scaled mountains, braved wastelands. As I communed with nature, I received a vision. The true spirit of this game we both play. And now I shall reveal it to you. If I win? Uh, oh, uh. Are you prepared? Then come. No. Hold that thought. What? Don't tell me you've lost your nerve. Yeah, hold on. Ooh, Mithril Ore. All right, I'm ready. Allow me to convey to you the true spirit of Queen's blood. Yes. Defeat the Keeper. Uh, yeah. Oop, yeah. What do you got, Cameron? What do you got? Throw down your cards. Let me see them. No and no. And later. Yeah, right. uh, I don't think nature plays card games are long before. Oh, are we now? Yeah. Oh. If I play a guy there, does he just get instant murdered, or is that only when it first gets played? When played. All right. So now he's just hanging out. Using an arch dragon like that seems like a waste. So what do I do? Um, yeah. Yeah. He's probably gonna steal that back immediately, and I probably shouldn't have played that there, but that's fine. Yeah. What are you gonna do? Play a guy diagonally? What are you gonna do? Grab a thing diagonally? No! No, you're not! That's what I thought! Um. 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 What's the, what's the point here? That's not bad. As long as I can. Yeah, because I can Grand Horn to lock down middle. Yeah, I think this is good. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? That's neat. What's that? Death Wheel. When played, lower the power of allied and enemy cards on affected tiles. It lowers both? That's wild. Um, I'm going to put that there. I don't think it matters. Yay. All right. What do you got? Oh. Okay, don't do that. All right, we win. Several good cards that you want you to kill your own cards. There's some wild depth to this game. Neat. Oh! I got Midgard Solver. When allied enemy cards are destroyed, raise this card's power by one. Ah. So you put that down and then get to murdering. This is wrong. This is all wrong. I don't understand. It was just supposed to be a game. Queen's blood as lore? No. There it is again. In that voice. Could it be? Has returned. <laughs> no, that's impossible. It's just a silly card game. Oh 
Oh god. What have I done? Queen's Plus one of the best quests in the game, not joking. <laughs> I have to tell them. They all need to know the terrible truth about Queen's blood. You okay? Were you granted a transcendent vision, as who's, I too was? Who's tap dancing in my left you ear? You look as though you've just seen a ghost. Saying that, I'm reminded of the story of Lidrell Balmon, the creator of Queen's Blood. Oh. After he started selling cards, he spoke of hearing a strange voice. He then withdrew from the public eye and became a recluse. No one saw him again until his death. There's like the no way he said shortage of people who've had their lives turned upside down by the cards. Just goes to show what a deep and captivating game it is. Indeed, this match of ours stands as proof of that truth as well, I believe. A recluse. Thank you for this experience, my friend. Who's got dancey feats? Who's over there? Help us take back our seeds! Oh, there's just children running around. With weirdly loud footsteps. Alright, well... We're not doing more Queen's Blood, but holy shit. I was like, how can the Queen's... Why is everyone like, oh yeah, do Queen's Blood? It's great! I'm like, who cares? I understand now the folly of my ways. <laughs> it's convinced me to come back. Oh, sure. It's good. Uh, I got that one. Um, okay. What's next on the docket? Well, uh, I already forgot. I everything in my brain disappeared. Very heavy children fit. What are you doing out here? How goes the hunt for world intel? Should you require assistance, please do not hesitate to ask. Vince quest or combat quest? Yeah, let's do. I look forward to seeing what new discoveries you make. Or we in could. Do, I don't know if I want to do Kid G. That's what I was saying. It's like if we do that proto rock, then we might as well do Gungaga. It's like I think I'd rather. If people said that the Gungaga quest wasn't anything especially special, which I don't think anyone explicitly said, just people were like, yeah, it's not really worth doing. So. No, it's been a really one on my PS5. Yeah, PS5s are not cheap. It's a bummer that the mid cycle refresh didn't bring the price of the console down at all. Because that's normally what they do. They're like, hey, look, we made it like a little bit smaller, a little more efficient, able to cut costs and pass the savings on to you. Which is what they've done with every other revision. And this time they're like, uh, it's slightly smaller. Same price, though. Uh, yeah, let's go back to Calm real quick. Didn't they increase? I think they might have increased the price. Gungaro Prowler Rug is mid. Noted. Yeah, and also if I can't do it till finishing the game anyway, I want to finish the game and then be done streaming it. So, we're good. What regions will be left for the last game after this? So, if I show you the map right here, I'm not going to get any kind of spoilers, but north of Nibelheim is Rocket Town, which is where a lot of Sid-related stuff is, and that is required in the original game in Disc 1, and instead of going all the way north and dealing with Sid, they're like, uh, it just happens in Nibel. And then he takes you down, and then the plane turns into a seaplane and all that kind of stuff. Um... We are not finishing the game today, no. Possibly tomorrow, and if not tomorrow, definitely Sunday. Um, so Rocket Town seems like they're saving that for the third game, as well as Sid being playable. They're probably just going to expand that and, you know, make it a bit more of a thing. Um, I don't think there's anything here exactly. I don't recall. Um, there is a landmass to the north up here, which is not until Disc 2. Actually, this might be... Never mind, I think I know what's here. Um, and then there's also stuff here, which we might do soon and then there's some islands which are not on the map so yeah but in terms of main like areas this is like most of the game there's just stuff to the north as well as some stuff up here but yeah pros aren't worth doing at this point yeah you can access it before doing the end game but it's like super boss levels that's what people said is it's uh pretty Welcome much intended for post game which is neat Maybe. but hey fatal Hope you had a good stream. Thanks for it. I tell you There's the a snowy ring with snow. Yes. Which is in disc two of the original game. As well as uh, other stuff that I'm not going to necessarily spoil. Because if you play the original game, which you should, you'd be like, oh, neat. I didn't know this was here. 
because it's fun to be on an adventure and be like, what's that? Um, she said, Bex is, is the one we're doing? Treasure? Be a long stream you want to get done tomorrow, you could do a two streams with small stream or Sunday to get done. I'm kind of leaning towards that. Just because I would imagine the end of the game is probably going to become shenanigans like the end of Remake. And I don't want to be at hour 10 and being like, I just need it to be over. I want to just, like, enjoy it. So I might I might choose to just do chapter, chapter. Um, Beck and his brigands. Oh, that's that Beck. Oh. That's that Beck. Where the hell is he? Um... Uh, 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 back, back, did I? This track. Speak with company representative. I have too many icons on my goddamn map. Where is B there? So it's just south-ish. That way. Those guys were great. Actors are terrible. And then we might start chapter 13 to see if we can do a Vincent thing. Maybe we don't do the whole quest and just say hi to him. I don't know. The legitimate businessman. Everyone's talking. Thanks for the hydrant. You don't need to start it for Vincent? It's a and nibble. Right oh, now, okay. We just so happen to be looking to hire new talent. Thank you. Say, since you're here, how about I pencil you in for an interview? Sound good? Ooh, yeah. Sign him up, boss. Of course. So you gotta He's get penciled? Hell no. Hmm. So, respective employee, first things first. What is your full name? Not answering that. Hmm. Applicant has a rebellious disposition. Next up, I'm gonna need your employment history. Uh, ex soldier, odd jobs, people not answering that. Uh huh. Unemployed then. As you know, we here at Beck's business Damn. make a living by slaying fiends and keeping folks safe. If you were to join us, what sort of skills would you bring to the table? Uh, pest control, comic relief, guerrilla marketing, not answering that. I gotta go comic relief. Like so. You don't look funny. And that's why he gets laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> Let me just confer with my associates. <laughs> Flat also laughing at hey, that is cool. Let's see can get this club to do all the heavy lifting for us. Oh, oh, monster oh, troubles oh, are oh, over, oh, boys. Oh, mm. After thorough deliberation, our council has decided to approve your candidacy. Congratulations! Congratulations! You candidate! Some might call you surly, but I can tell you just shy. And I have full confidence your superiors will help get you out of that shell in no time. Welcome to the family. I'm your superior, and you're my... Superior! <laughs> We've got some big expectations for you, rookie. Okay, now that the formalities are out of the way, it's time for your first assignment. There's an old highway on the outskirts of town. Go on ahead and prep for battle while you're at it. We've got some uh, paperwork. You ain't serious about this, are you? Ain't I always serious? Never oh. know. Hmm? Uh, Could be a nice change of pace. You gotta Is start wearing a mask too. Accepting applications? I want you to take care of some monsters on the old highway outside of town. Our company's rep is on the line, so don't screw it up. Face reveals? I doubt it. That'd be fun though. This business stuff is harder than it looks. We ain't been doing so hot. Hiring you was the only thing we've done right. Idiots! Don't tell them that. Huh? I'm superior to your period. I super e too. I want you to take care of some our company. Oh, so it's the same way you thought. Okay. This business hiring you, idiot. I see. Huh? Good. Quit slacking. Well, we gotta help him. We gotta help him. Uh, that, that. Defeat the fiends. Yeah. It's something I really trust about them. Yeah. 
There should be an X in there somewhere. <laughs> oh, I did, I did, uh, I did discover a fun thing when I was playing off stream yesterday, which is while you're petting them, Cloud smiles. Well, it might depend on the animation. That's just upsetting. Hold on. Let me, let me, let me get... Hold on. This is important. Um, maybe Gogaga? POV. POV, you are a chocobo. And Cloud is saying hi. I would never lie. I didn't mean to grab a chocobo. I need it. Hey, kid. There you go. There, POV. <laughs> That's it. That's what I wanted to show chat. There you go. Horrifying. <laughs> Gotta reach- no. This is- this is great. Isn't it fun to be a little chocobo chat? Don't you love this? I- I noticed this because I turned the camera and I saw just when his smile went back to normal when he stands up. I was like, oh yay, there he goes. And I was just like, wait, is he smiling? Hold on, is he smiling? And he's like, no. I would never smile. I'm not a smiler. I mean, he's showing all of his teeth. That's what smiles are. Uh, all right, back to this one. Violently shaking chat. Mm -hmm. Why does this have the Buddy Holly riff in it? Do 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 I need a moment. I need a moment. Do 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 I'm not okay. Oh no. Oh, that's gonna be in my brain forever, isn't it? Oh dear. Oh fuck. Ah. Uh. Getting a real laugh out of Cloud. I mean, he loved being a Moogle. You know, it was all Koopo. Remember when he was all Koopo? Yeah. Monsters on the road, huh? Oh yeah, there you go. there's some monsters. On behalf of Bex Business, let's get to work. Hey, newbie! How's it looking over there? You done with our work? We ain't done shit! God damn it, was hoping they'd be dead. Did I miss something? Yeah. Nah. I did, I did a thing off stream, and I showed a video of it earlier. Remake. It'll be a party. 
Well, ain't that thoughtful? Okay, let's do it. Hey, you! Rocky! Get the party started! Yeah, start it! I love parties! <laughs> <laughs> Wait just a bit, okay? Get ready, because you're finally going to get what's coming to you. I don't even know who the hell you are. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good. Um, anyway, yeah, so uh, if you missed it, um, yeah, I, I, I had time to play the game yesterday off stream, and one of the things I did was get all the Moogle Emporiums, and your reward for doing so is a very silly cutscene where they transform Cloud into a Moogle, and you should look it up. If you just look up FF7 Rebirth, Moogle cutscene. I'm sure it'll be the first result. Uh, Devil Rise Week to Electricity. That makes sense. Ah. Bear is the best. He's so good. He's good in the original. Yeah. I'm okay. Yeah. There's a reason I screenshotted that one bit from the haunted hotel. Um, it isn't just because it shows the little ghost. Thank you. It's because he's like, I don't know what the hell is going on when they're talking about the plot. Back. Deal with that. Yeah. Jump on him. You know what? Jump on him. There he goes. Whatever. Where's Barrett? There he is. Seems like you can use jump to get away from stuff. Like, not just a normal attack, but like a big cutscene attack. Just be like, see ya. I'm in midair. Uh, you know what? This would be funny. So, yeah. Yeah. Fuck him up. He's too fast for a comet. Damn it. Hey, Cloud. Can't help but notice you're a little low on HP. Yeah. Uh, but I sure don't have a lot of elemental stuff with this crew, don't I? Um... Well, with them being weak to lightning and me not having free lightning on, like, any... Well, Stag Shock! It's right there. Race for it. Yeah, that got him. Bah. Whatever. Just blow him up the old-fashioned way. Shackle! No, don't. Get him. Get him. Get him. They do not have my back, actually. Can you, can you? Okay, this is going poorly. Firebolt has lightning in it. Damn it, he's about to pressure him. So it's like, I'll just keep going for it. Damn it. He just keeps getting away as soon as I hit Siphon. Alright, fine, player. You know, this would be funny. One guy on a motorcycle. Send in Alexander. Welcome back. Yeah, it's good, right? Alright, Alexander. Get him. Get him. You missed. Alexander, you missed. Get him with a tracking beam. Alexander, you missed again. Wait, no, that time got him. It's on you. Shoot him. 
what you get for thinking you can go toe to toe with big business. He did experience flight. You're nothing but a sellout. Huh? What'd you say to me? We're supposed to be rebels. Folks didn't want nothing to do with us. They kicked us to the curb, spit in our faces. And that's exactly what set us free. But you, you lost your way after Blondie whooped your ass. We get knocked down, we don't cut and run. We play dead and live to fight another day. Business. They do play that. More like bullshit. Now you're just falling in line. You ain't outlaws. You're in-laws. Boss? I don't want to be in-laws. Huh. Well, ain't that some shit? One taste of civil society. I almost lost my edge. Listen up, boys. Effective today, Bex business is closed. They're all married and in now. its place, I'll be forming Bex Bikers, a band of outlaws born to rule the open road. Yeah, boss. Yeah, boss. Yeah, no. Ready, boys? Then let's burn rubber. You got it, boss. I like that the big guys just strong man. Sorry, rookie, you're fired. But hey, lots of bumps like that with the ride of life. Gotta hang on tight. Ready? Life, Gotta admit, I'm a jealous. Psych. Mm -hmm. You breathe. I should probably heal. Then return the guild clock game. He made it. He's the comic relief. Always has been. Uh, let's go to Nibelheim. He does want a motorcycle. He had fun with the one in, uh, in Remake. Sup? Just gonna rest in the inn real quick. So those creepy out hey, Chadley. We keep watch to make sure the patients don't wander off. Sup? Be gentle now. Isn't she nice and soft? Makes you feel fuzzy on the inside too, huh? Oh. Returning the cats to town has had a healing effect. That's great. Hello. <gasps> yeah. Hello. Welcome. Yeah. Hi. Cloud's classic line. Waka waka waka. Safe travels. Spooky noises in Shimmer Manor. Can do, thank you. Mm -hmm. I just want me more Vincent content. Lament of the Damned. Tell me you've heard it too, the woman in the manor weeping or wailing, or I don't know, I don't want to know, really can't bring myself to even go into the manor these days, but someone needs to get to the bottom of this, or I'll never be able to sleep again. Spooky. It's from the- it's in the town hall? Sometimes you can hear a woman's voice coming from the manor. It's the ghost Or the quest giver is, is in the manor. Hey! Back again, are we? What is it this time? It- you you had a thing. Um... The manor. I'm the manager of the manor only on paper. I know next to nothing about it. Records indicate it was built as a research facility. On land borrowed from the village back in Shinra's early days. The work carried out at the facility, however, was apparently quite sensitive. Pretty much all the details have been redacted. Really makes you wonder what they're trying to conceal. It's a conspiracy. Is that... Reminds me of Thomas Hayden Church. Well, they're gone now. Hmm. Or what was left of them. Some Shinra troopers helped dispose of their remains. How they got in, however, remains unclear. But that's for someone else to figure out. We're still struggling with the loss of Mr. Murasaki. Mm-hmm. But the robes. Shinra's created a refuge for those that suffering from That cat is pretty high clearance, huh? 
Here they can relax and recover in their own time. He was warning, he Though knew. recently, some have up and left without a word, which is frankly beyond me. No. By the way, you spent an awful long time inside Shinra Manor. What were you doing in there? We needed to use the terminal. That's all, was it? And the bathroom. Why do you ask? Well, you see, ever since your visit, I've been hearing this strange voice, a woman's, mm -hmm. coming from inside. I know this sounds crazy, but you don't think it's haunted, do you? Hardly. Sides, you're the manager. Ain't it your job to investigate? No, I don't have the clearance to set even one foot inside. Regardless, I know what I heard. It wasn't just the wind rustling through the trees at night. Someone was weeping almost musically rub, rub, rub. it sounded like a woman wailing Ooh. Ah. Oh. <coughs> for real i'm afraid so <laughs> and given that i didn't hear a thing until you went inside it's clear there's a connection why not take some responsibility and go investigate for me <sighs> I think I'm gonna sit this one out. Hey. Come on. I'm sure it's nothing serious. Well, now I'm putting Tifa in the party. Tifa and Barrett. Let's go. Let's go. There we do. Done. Um. Oh, yeah. Yuffie did get a weapon. I should probably try to level that up. But this is funny to me. Yeah, you got stuff. All right. Oh, jeez. That's like super creepy, man. I can be nice to everyone again. As far as I know, there's nothing else that is impacted by how much they like you. We've met actual ghosts. We've done all kinds of haunted curse shit. Uh, meh. Eh, meh. And, uh, you know what? And maybe I should not have... I mean, the other stuff is neat. It's like, ooh. You get, like, ATB boosts and stuff. Energy when overcharging. MP up. All that's neat. But maybe maybe I should give him some element. Seems like I don't have a lot of lightning. In general. Oh, these are all pretty cheap. Could give him wind. Cloud has wind on his thing. Ice. There you go. We want it to be- I know! I have a boost. Alright. Do we finally get to go upstairs in the manor? Because that'd be cool. Hello? Spooky ghosts. <laughs> well, I don't hear a damn thing. So, case closed. No need for us to overstay our welcome. What are you doing? Be quiet. Listen. Uh, you hear something I don't? I feel it below us. Well, I don't feel anything. But you know this place better than we do. If you're willing to lead, we'll follow. Join the party, join the what party. What do you mean, we? <laughs> Scared. Me? Scared? Gungarka? I ain't been scared a day in my life. I was even voted bravest buddy back in the day. Of course you were. What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? Wait, Barrett, come Man, back. This is ridiculous. That guy was convinced there's some kind of ghost in here, but I'm not buying it. I say we just turn around. Getting cold feet? Of course not. Size. It wouldn't be our first paranormal encounter. Like the gig. They were ghosts. I think. What was that? Y'all heard it, right? Loud and clear. This is very silly. I was thinking earlier with the stuff with the, uh... Sounds like the we know. Then what is it? 
We'll soon find out. With the silly biker gang and Bex boys and all that, I was like, I wish 16 had more stuff like this. Not in tone, necessarily, although the tone is very silly and I like that. But it's not a controversial opinion to say that 16 had very weak side content. A lot of it was very just kind of copy-paste. Oh, now that's definitely haunted. That's spooky as hell. Hey, Nanaki, you seen this shit? Row, row, row. I think the chairs are haunted. Yes, man. TFI, take it back. Ghosts are spooky. You were right. Oh, wait. Is it working its way out of there? Maybe not. I got, I got EMF level 5 right now. Let's get out of here. Ugh. Spooky. That's some PT shit. Uh, so the sub base. Oh, good. Vincent, what's the deal with you and Sephiroth? How do you know it? Our bond is unique. I'm to blame in part for the evils he's unleashed. I've had many opportunities to purge him from this world. Unfortunately, I couldn't pull the trigger. Don't beat yourself up. Oh? I don't know if you can kill him, and even if you could, I think he'd stick with you, somehow. <laughs> Quite the rosy outlook. I haven't played Dirge of Cerberus, but does he hang out with Sephiroth in that? Oh boy, elevators! Wait. What? You're going to need my key card. It'll grant you access to the lower levels. Using someone else's key card, isn't that against the rules? Mr. M God, look, he looks great. Yeah, they are. Yeah, there they are. Um, wait, hold on, hold on. Um, um, yeah, that's, man, that's, that's pretty good. I like that. I like, um, that's very good. That's excellent. Gongaga. Oh, that's Cosmo Canyon. Oh, Nebel, yeah, that's where we are. Breaking news! Man stares at other man! In sepia! I'm done. Does it have a field? I believe it does. Sword, it's after Evan Children. It's after Evan Children. Spans on Vincent's backstory. Yeah, I did do the optional hey, Vincent, Vincent stuff in the OG. You got any idea Just who's really out of the way. Like seen any women wandering the manor maybe some gal got stuck in a coffin unlikely a female staffer once lived here but she's long gone then who else could it be do i have to keep repeating myself as i said we'll soon find out it's chadley ah why ah la, 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 not listening Threads from inscription. It's such a short melody, it sounds like 80 things. Conducted his combat trials. Countless subjects were slaughtered here. Disposed of. Never to be mourned. Thank you, Vincent. Huh. Now I know you're just screwing with me. Well, I ain't falling for it. This place is very spooky. <laughs> Thank you, tour guide Vincent. The simulator is up ahead. Oh. We'll proceed further until we complete the trial. Why? Best of luck. Thanks. You could help us, you know, with your cool guns and your cool moves and... Alright. I'm into button. Greetings and welcome, my lovely specimens. This asshole again? Today is your lucky day. You'll be participating in a series of combat simulations. Few are permitted to take part in mine. Be grateful for this honor. Well, without further ado, let us begin. I look forward to analyzing the data gleaned from your deaths. Messy as they'll be. Thanks, Hojo. Yeah, he's gnarly. Yeah, there's, there's not a ton of Vincent backstory in the original. 
But one of the ways that you find it is like, there's a spot in the open world that I won't say exactly where it is in case you want to do it yourself and try to find it. There's a very obscure area in the world map that's really awkward to get to. And it's tied to Vincent's backstory, even though it's not obvious. And you have to go in there and grab a thing and then leave and I think do like a battle and then go back and then you get some more plot. You can't just like get it all. You have to leave and come back to this really obscure area. It's like, how the fuck would you discover that? Because I got there and I couldn't figure out what to do. I was like, what? There's gotta be more. This room seems really important. And they're like, yeah, fight a thing elsewhere and come back. I was like, okay. Takes that story and fleshes out. I, yeah, it makes sense. To be like, here's the tiny nugget of Vincent backstory in the original, and we'll flush it out more. It's a bit silly. I mean, Vincent is optional, so the last stuff around him is just kind of inconsequential. Uh, a three-person trial, which subjects may select their own team. Subjects will engage virtually simulated specimens. Uh, one round. Throw one round. And I get things for doing them. A little neat. Okay. Time limit, though. Ugh. Um, do I want FD from the party? Oh. I have been rocking these three for a while. Let's try this. If this kicks my ass, then, uh... Oh, no. It's just a couple of guys. I can always switch the game to easy, just to get through these a little faster. They're dodging me! Shit. Hey. Eh. Uh, they can only be hit while they are launching attacks of their own, exploding elements with expression weak to lightning. Good thing I just got that for Barrett. If I just keep attacking, eventually it'll attack me, right? Or is it just gonna keep dodging that away? Maybe I'm supposed to wait. There he goes. Just a couple of guys. What do you think of that, Vincent? That performance boots well for the next try. Couple of guys getting up to no good. Started making trouble in my combat simulator. Ruthless specimens. Alright. Uh, um. Uh, you know what? Well, can you level up weapon abilities in combat simulator land? I guess we'll find out. Oh, big old boo boo guys. They're covered in goop and they're kind of <coughs> wobbling around. <laughs> Who's jingling That's keys? Right. Who's doing that? Adjudicator. Inflicting damage will pressure them. Pressure them with physical attacks or under physical attacks. Okay, switch back and forth. Weak the lightning. Um, the amalgam. Those are amalgams. Where's the other guy? Oh, that's the adjudicator. The amalgams. Inflicting fire damage will leave them open to attack. They'll revive themselves up to two times unless they are burning. Hit them with fire. Got it. And this thing is just kind of annoying. Understood. Keep it together. Need my help, do you? Don't send out the spores. The uh, fiery impulse. Good. Do it again. Give everyone fire. Yuffie should... Fire ninjutsu. Switch to lightning. This called for a fight. How you like it? Hey Cloud, hit it. Nice cloud. Wait. It's immune? I thought it was. Alright. Is it in damage? Which mode is it in? Hey. 
Well, that's working. Come on. Okay, that, now it's switched. on you. No, it didn't. What the? Taken over. Hello. It's just a mute to everything. There it goes. Jesus. Um. That's fine. Leave it to me. All right. Okay. Yeah, Yuffie's great. I got a little close. I couldn't find any FF games to smooch Vincent. What a terrible series. And our heroine triumphs again. Maybe that's part three of the remake trilogy. What a fascinating outcome. It'll be FF7 re-kissing uh, Vincent. The next. Re-smooch. Uh, okay. Stagger enemies three times. Easy. I'm gonna do that again. Make them stagger. This happens for free. Oh, these. Oh, uh, what? Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. At least I have a three person party. Oh, God. Oh, no. This is bad. This is a little bad. This is just a, a smidge bad. Yeah. Hot. Cloud's fine. Um. The Krog Entity, hitting them with powerful offensive abilities while they're casting a spell will pressure them. Evading Onslaught or attacking them during Sylvester Fear will also pressure them. And yin and yang becomes pressure when either head is incapacitated. Remaining head will go berserk, weak to fire. So this is scary, actually. Um, shit. Bring in the heat! Uh, 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 cure the cloud. Cloud My should God. haste. Double time. Wait, no, nope. that's fine. Uh, triple slash that. That's the wrong. Shit. Is that fine? I haven't staggered anyone any times. And I'm almost halfway into one time. Shit. Fuck you, yin and yang. That's... This might be me switching easy, because this is fucking mean. He's pressured! Shit. Um... Uh, that one's pressured. Get him. Fuck. Not anymore, he ain't. You're dead. No, sir. At least the timer pauses when he's doing that. There we go. That's one stagger. Where's the other? What? Did we kill both of them? Oh, well, I'm not gonna get two staggers on this guy. I'm not taking advantage for what's worth. True, but I'm really worried about killing him in time and doing him with fire. I don't think this is gonna work. Because if I kill them in the time limit, but I didn't get the staggers, I don't think it counts. Uh, banishment. Wait. Hmm. Maybe it'll just let me pressure him twice for some reason. Now he's angry. Good. Now he's staggered. Now delete him. Yay! Well, will you give up? Build a banishment. Nine, 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 nine. Yeah, I should probably read, read how it says to do. 
You're in a buffer. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, sometimes Twitch just likes the buffer even when everything else seems fine. So. Evading Onslaught or attacking them during Sebastial Fury will pressure them. Otherwise, just hit them with stuff. Alright. Hey, 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 uh, hey, I'm, I'll get to you. So dodge that. Oh, I didn't dodge it. Fuck. I'm trying to pressure him. Fuck off, dude. Oh my God. No one cares, Yan Yang, no one cares. Well, that's bad. Uh, you focus shot. Come on, fuck him up, fuck him up. No, god damn it. Oh, that was very unfortunate timing. Maybe I can hit him? Yeah, he's under pressure. Come on, just get the pressure. Fuck! There it is. All right. Uh, yeah. Fiery banishment. Gotcha. That's bad. Get away from that. Bump, 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 bump. Hit uh, Yuffie with a cure. Shit. I bear you bonus friends. That's smart. Um, but I need a hero. Heal Yuffie. Bump, bump. Is that increases stagger? Uh, please interrupt him. Yeah, nice. Uh, what? Uh, that does increase damage. I want to increase stagger. Do any of these increase their stagger? Stagger? Uh, nope, not really. So just do that, and then cloud. Uh, this increases stagger. Nice. Okay. Now we have a minute to focus on Yin and Yang. And then he's weak to fire. No, 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 no. Cloud's got his limit, but I don't want to kill him. I don't think you can dodge. Oh, you can dodge thunder. Hmm. Come on. Oh, that pressure gauge is almost there. Come on. You fucker. Keep. There he goes. Do that. Yuffie can do this. Ferret, just shoot him. Nice. Good. Increase the staggering amount of pressure. That's good. All right, one more. Hope you learned your lesson. That is an intriguing result indeed. Yeah. But let's see how you perform in the final trial. Wish you could dodge thunder today. Weather is stormy. Oh, hope you are doing all right. All right, one more. Stagger means twice. With limited breath. Uh, okay. Um. Let's do this party again. It's that easy. Big Ben that holds the entire net. What? Oh, God. Come on. And an adjudicator. So he's weak to lightning. Yeah. Keep 
Thank you. He's pressured. Just get in there. Uh, Art of War him? There it is. Please just kill him. Please just, please just get, get him. There he goes. All right. Now. Blast him with fire. Uh, fiery banishment. And wildfire. I will make a skills ghost. No, no, no. What? Make up your mind. What are you doing? Yang size. Great. Um, bonus round. It's pressured. Good. Good. Pressured is good. Um, no, wait. Oh, okay, there we go. Sweet. Uh, fuck him up. And you can blast him and hopefully this kills him. That went great. Whew. Hey. Well, can't fault him for trying. We did some game. Preliminary truck. Is there more? Is this just do trials for an hour and a half until Vincent goes that far enough? Marvelous! You've cleared every trial! <laughs> I've created masterpieces yet again, I see. Without further ado, my dear specimens, let's proceed to Act Two. How many, how many do we have here? Let's go. I'm, I'm starting to get a little snug on time. We're already in act two. You mentioned some gal used to work here, but what exactly did she do? Whatever the good professor bade her, as their bodyguard, I was never made privy to the details of their research. Well, knowing that sick freak, I doubt he was up to anything good. And I bet that gal wasn't much better than him either. That's not true. Oof. Did I touch a nerve? Just stay quiet. I have to concentrate. He's fine. There. Hey, 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 John. You know, deep down, I knew you'd make it this far. Of course, not every participant does. Only the finest, the elite among you, among you survive. You should be very proud. I, for one, am delighted by your success. Where are you off to? To shut him up. As a token of my appreciation, I prepared for you a gift. Yes, yes, very sus. That's what we've all been hearing? You gotta be kidding me! Here it is, your final trial. You must face this feat in combat and emerge triumphant or die. Thanks, Vincent. Train a barca! Fair, it's fine. Vincent True MVP. An experimental specimen kept in the basement of Shinra Manor had long laid dormant, was awoken when the facility systems came online. Its lonely cries echo through the halls, imbuing the building with an even eerier aura. Impervious to physical, ta physical attacks from the rear, inflicting enough damage during subdue will pressure it. When HP is low, all attacks will inflict poison. It's weak to ice. <laughs> 
No. Uh, do I have ice? I do. Bring it home. Take it over. Double time. He got big old feet. No, no. Uh, I'm gonna drop a comment on it. Yeah, fuck you, fuck you. One of them might hit him. All right, well, still look neat. Deal with that. You're up. I'll call you. You ready? No. Yeah. Ha. Damn it. Yep. Hop. Yep. Hop. Yep. Did he have anything to steal? He does. But. Back. Uh. Do do your do your chakras. Yeah. No. Oh, Mm -hmm. Anguish scream. That sounds bad. He's almost pressured. And by pressured, I mean staggered. Could just do that. That'll do. Um. They're doing things. Say your prayer. Summon a cool guy. Don't necessarily need to, but it's fun to summon a cool guy. Yeah, we fucked them up. Have fun. Hello. Get him. Get him. You're not getting why is not getting You think that Bahamut will get him? Take the lead? I got it. Alright, well we have all been poisoned. Still here. Uh Maybe, 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 maybe. Please die. There he goes. <laughs> This means we busted our ghost. Bustin. A monster. Tainted by Hojo's touch, no doubt. Bustin. Why the singing, though? An outlet for stress, perhaps. An expression of displeasure. Despite their appearance, some fiends are capable of complex thinking and experiencing emotions. <laughs> right. Monsters got feelings. I know we ought to have mercy for all life, but you gotta draw the line somewhere. You have to be mad at some In life. any case, thanks for your help with the investigation. Oh. Don't stay too long. Thanks, Vincent. Oh, just say I just added new tests and trials and to take them at your peril. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. Oh, great. 
Bear respects all life except the gross and ugly one. Yeah. That's good. Um, I need to release a flaw. So, BRB. And then I will probably get wrapped up. But uh, we'll figure that out. Anyway. Thanks. I'll be right back. Right, right. Yeah. So, I don't want it to end. Everything has to end. That's what things do. Hello. Bang, bang. Bang, bang. Bang, bang. Uh, hi. So, am I just supposed to run out of here? Um, do you ever think about bing, bang, and then it bang, bing? We can 100% this next stream. Maybe we end this tomorrow. Regardless, tomorrow's going to be a doozy. Whether or not we finish it, or, but I will try to. Well, we'll have to play it by ear. Just because, depending on how long the temple takes, it might make sense to save it for Sunday. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm glad. I don't know why I'm running. I could probably just fast travel out of here. Yeah. I'm glad we got a little more, uh, Vincent's though. Yeah, little Vincent time. Will be long to finish in as a doozy. That's that's kind of what I was thinking. I mentioned that earlier. That uh. Oh, I know one thing I could do before we wrap up. Um, sit back here for convenience, because I definitely have a lot of chocobo feathers. Um, five hours left in storm. I discussed maybe four. Is that accounting for streamer poo brain, though? Because if that's it, then that's definitely doable next time, right? But, yeah, I, I figure once we're done with the temple tomorrow, we'll figure if it makes sense. Might actually be next time. Yeah, so, I yeah, well... Hi, Michael. You can send voice memos through the PlayStation? Like six or seven. So it could be doable. Might do it tomorrow. But I can't put. Hey Barry, it's a weird thing that uh, we can send voice messages over PS5. I guess that's a thing. Also, I now have a PS5. How cool! What should I play?
Hi, Michael. You should play Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, available now for PlayStation 5. Also, I didn't know that this was a feature of this console, and I've had it for like two years. Um, oh, Nax says hi, by the way. Hi, Michael. You should play Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, available now for PlayStation 5. Also, I didn't know that this was a feature of this console, and I've had it for like two years. Um... Oh, Nax says hi, by the way. Send. Sticker. Nax. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I go back to mute. I'm glad that there's just a button to mute the... I forget this has a microphone because I always leave it muted. But, uh... Anyway. Hey, did you know you could do this? Probably 99% of them. Um... Right, where the fuck is the... Bill! Get out of here, Chadley. Bill! Show me the th show me the things. Because I definitely was like, this is rad, but I can't afford it. But I remember what, what, what it all was. Um, No, that's the customer. Where's the shop? The shop. I need the shop. Is it the little girl? Hi. Get out of my way. Billy Sorry. probably won't come back to the ranch for a while. Six he says he's got to focus on training right now. Do they ever advertise that? I don't know. Um, You got... Oh, you can just buy Plants Mercy and shit? And you can buy Beast Bone. A lot of stuff I need it takes Beast Bone. So that's that's kind of neat, I suppose. Um, more importantly, I am here. Oh. So there's that. There's the Treasure Hunter attire. The Mystical attire. Saurian Helm? That's like some Azure Rathalos bullshit. Well, I can afford, uh, like, one of these full sets. Oh, man. These are rad. Hi, Knack! Hope you're doing well. Also, hi, chat! If chat is able to hear this. Chat, you're able to hear that, right? Your mouth. <laughs> no! Hi! <laughs> You're what? Thank you. I'm gonna buy this. Oh, I can't also afford it. Yeah. Oh, man, that's rad, too. Give me this one. It's more expensive, therefore better. Thanks. I hope Billy isn't causing too much Who's trouble. Billy? <laughs> it might make such a... Table fly. It's, it's so easy to make a mess in here. I love it. Oh. Now that's a good chocobo. But is it as good as this? Whoa. This is some Jack and Daxter bullshit. Oh, this is good. This is very good. I kind of wish the color of the light changed too. But it's still good. That's good. Good. He's a summoner. We gotta shake more chocobos. Oh yeah. There's like fifty thousand chocobo stops I haven't seen. Where is my bird? Well, the real thank you. I appreciate it. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, right, well. Get back in here, Michael. I feel like Barry is doing such an exceptional job right now playing Final Fantasy VII Rebirth or whatever the fuck it's called. You guys should like start a hype train or like a sub train or something like that. Like someone should start doing some gift subs, all right? Thank you, Michael. Um. Thank you. How about a prime sub? You know, that's fine. Anything, you know, it's, it's fine. Anyway, there's no time for hype train because I gotta wrap up. I gotta end stream. I gotta go, go, go to my dinner, which is soon. Um, but thank you all for hanging and joining. Um, we did, we did, uh, we hung out with Red. I really want to look up the other, the other dates. 
I didn't realize that you could apparently hang out with Sid and Vincent and Kate Sith, and I really need to see that cutscene urgently. Um, I'm gonna do that. But next time, we will... Wait, didn't they just say go to... They said go... Where am I going? Meridian Ocean? Is it back? No, that's the part of things. Here? Oh, here. Go to this. Nice. Thank you for the bits. Never let the man eat. Hype it up. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. <laughs> Appreciate it. Hope you enjoy your PlayStation 5. It's a neat console with one or two exclusive games. Um, so we're going to go there next time. I'll just hang out over here instead. Um, do you, view? Can I warp there? I don't know if I can warp there. Costa del Sol. Fast travel. Well, I'm just gonna go the, to the to the coast of the Sol, and then we can drive across the ocean, I guess. But if you want to hang out, Samara, we're gonna do some 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 plot, and things are gonna start happening rapidly because we're approaching the end of the game. The nice. Thank you. Thank you for the bits. Back. Thank you. Appreciate it. But yeah, thanks so much for hanging. You can access any of the dates post game pretty quickly. You get an option to choose who to date. Oh, that's nice. Then I won't look it up. I'm gonna do it in game park. Thanks. We're just ending. Hello. Yeah. A little bit of, I mean, it's still a five hour stream, but still a little bit of a shorter stream for FF7. He's been missing long streams to get through the game. And we're getting close. We might finish it next time. One or two streams to go. I love these, I love that they set them back up too, as soon as you knock them over. Yeah. Yeah, I want to get caught up on stuff so I can mosey on out of here. Eh? An image? state if this makes the monthly highlights this gam didn't put this here this is on my playstation <laughs> thank you michael thank you michael yeah mac loves that dog oh my god Jesus. All right. Hi. Anyway, I gotta go. I have to leave. My people need me. All passengers with reservations. Oh my God! It's the wheelie master. It's the wheelie master. Goodbye. Um, I'm gonna find someone to raid and get cop and alerts as I'm kicking out the door. Thank you all for hanging. Uh, I appreciate it. Hope you're all having a good one. Hope you're doing well out there, wherever you are. And uh, we're gonna, we're gonna uh, finish this game soon. And then I can finally enjoy the game and just play it and just be chill and just vibe. Um, bum, bum, bum. Ba -da -da. Uh, na, na, na. Do 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 Fuck it, we're gonna write Nicole. Oh fuck. Nicole is playing Helldivers with Tom and some other people. And that sounds great. Nicole is great. You should go follow her if you're not already following her. And then the Queen's Blood begins and the real game begins. Uh right in level four grip. Thanks for two months. I wanted to redo my Prime and say I've been using highlights as sleep aid enough that Baron crew made their way into the dreamscape. The other night, they were commentators on a Pikmin horse race I was watching. Yellow 4-1, by the way. Catch everyone on the VODs. I hope you get good sleep. Thank you. Matteo Sol, thanks for a year and a half. Cutscenes. Uh, uh, Moonwing, thanks for 20 months. Been enjoying this a lot, even though I've been very slowly playing this game myself. Also, my fave emote now, Barahoy. Thank you. I don't know what the raid message is, chat. You sign amongst yourself. Um, Dave, thanks for 55 months. Gonna lurk and play the Pizza Tower Noise update. 
Hope you enjoy it. Now, Burn Your thanks for 53 months. Tornado Isle, thanks for nine months. A Ruby Key. Uh, Smash Man, thanks for spooky skeleton bits. Fireworks, thanks for 100 bits. Venus Farns, thanks for the dollar you do. JJ Wildheart, thanks for 62 months. Spicy Gavino, thanks for the raid. Raven Penguin, thanks for six years. Fatal, thank you for the raid. Star Mango, thanks for 10 bits. Turn to Streaming, thanks for 41 months. Tifa, on Tifa's day with Cloud, she says, Focus, thrust my Cosmo Canyon, and Mako my reactor, Avalanche Soldier. Jesus Christ. Lonely Wheel, give this sub to Derp Snazzy. Char Mango, give this sub to Quarter Imaginary. Jacob Bacon, thank you for the bits. Wolfie, thank you for the bits. And Jacob Bacon, thank you for the bits. Goodbye, chat. I finished. I got caught. I did it. I was fast. Have a good one. Maybe see you tomorrow. Have a good one. Get the hell out of here. I gotta go. Me and my car in five minutes. Is this, Vod Watchers? Right hope you're enjoying the video game and the VODs, Vod Watchers, and I hope to see you next time for hey. utmost shenanigans. Because I'm sure this game will end with as normal an ending as Remake. I'm looking forward. I mean, even if it's one to one with the original, the temple's pretty nuts in the original game, too, so I'm excited for that. See you then! Bye! Big way. Okay.